government called the Operations Limited and said they were done at the request of the Iraqi government. On Friday, Texas Governor Rick Perry was indicted by a grand jury for two counts of abuse of power and coercion. Perry said the indictments were politically motivated and unwarranted. The charges stem from Perry vetoing $7.5 million in funding for a branch of the Travis County District Attorney's Office. Critics allege that Perry vetoed as a way to push Democratic District Attorney Rosemary Lindbergh out of office. Now Perry faces 5 to 99 years in jail if convicted of the first-degree felony. Over the weekend, Bitcoin prices hit a month-long low of just above $480. Some speculate the price drop is due to investors engaging in manipulative investment tactics through the Bitfinex trading platform. Nonetheless, those who expect Bitcoin to continue to increase in price see the current dip as an excellent opportunity for buying. For those interested in adding to their portfolio, Brave New Books at 1904 Guadalupe Street in Austin is now host to a Bitcoin ATM, where you can purchase Bitcoin in a safe and secure manner. To keep up with the latest in Bitcoin prices, visit thelibertybeat.com. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Cabo Bob's, non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Visit them at one of their two locations in Austin, 500 East Benway Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande near the UT campus. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, August 18th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Frustrated Superman fans told reporters Monday that the economically healthy and financially stable Daily Planet newspaper is now the most unrealistic aspect of the comic book's universe. Acknowledging that enjoying the adventures of a superhero that can fly, lift cars over his head, and shoot beams of light out of his eyes requires some suspension of disbelief, longtime readers said even the comic's most exciting stories are regularly ruined by the implausibility of a thriving daily newspaper whose advertising revenue and circulation numbers have not at all been threatened by a media landscape overtaken by lack laptops, smartphones, and aggregation websites. Look, I can play along with Superman using his breath to freeze a volcano or clapping his hands together to cause some sort of sonic boom, but seeing images of a thriving Daily Planet newsroom not facing layoffs or dwindling home subscriptions just really takes me out of the story. No one in Metropolis has realized they could get news online faster and for free? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up anything that you want by dialing in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us via Skype as well. We've got uh, Skype username LRN.FM. You just send a contact request over to that name. It will be approved, and then it'll be easy for you to get in touch with us via Skype, which if you have Skype on your smartphone, uh, or if you don't yet have it on your smartphone, go ahead and put it on there. I think it's a worthy upgrade yeah, you can complain that it's Microsoft, but the fact is they'll send audio to us, and you'll sound better than you would if you were connecting on your phone. So with you tonight in the studio, it's Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. So we got Johnny Ray's Game of the Week on the way uh, later on tonight. Also, I've got breaking news uh, that is this pretty big news for the Free State Project about uh, one of their members going to uh, being arrested. We'll tell you what that's all about here in a little bit. And then, Mark, there was a story that you had, we'd teased, I think, at some point in the past. and Saturday. Never really got to it. What, uh, what was that story? Well, it's a proposal that it, uh, to restrict human breeding. A proposal from, was it Wired Magazine? Well, an author that wrote for Wired Magazine UK. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's I, hear it. Okay. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, Sounds like a terrible idea on its face, but what's, you know, I'm sure they have an <laughs> argument. Human beings are our greatest natural resource, <laughs> Zoltan Istvin, writing for Wired, says it's time to consider restricting human breeding. Wasn't Zoltan the name of the, uh, the, the, the coin-operated machine in Tom Hanks' Big in the 1980s? Maybe was that so. Zoltar? I, I'm not sure, but Maybe it seems like Zoltan is the name of an alien race from last week's Game of the Week Fest. Is that right? Light. Yeah. Zoltan is not a particularly, um, uh, you know, strange name when you're talking about sort of Central Europe. Okay, gotcha. 
So I'm just I've just taken a couple of clips here. This is a relatively long article with his. Uh, you know, you're not just going to throw this out there like a dead fish and say, you know what we should do? We should restrict human breeding. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You know, he he works you into it, uh, telling a story about how he was at a uh, cocktail party and. Um, you know, with some doctors, and instead of the normal uh, yickety yak about interns and things like that, they what it instead it was um, that you know one of the conversations that came up was uh, somebody saying, you know, with all the consequences of uh, overpopulation, they should be putting. Um, why in the world aren't they putting uh, birth control in the water? And. <laughs> I think that that's, uh, let's see, one tall blonde woman said something that caught my attention. With 10,000 kids dying every day around the world from starvation, you'd think we'd put birth control in the water. And, you know, so that's the idea. Blech. Sounds awful. Do you think that it would affect the taste of the water? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so I think that we've got enough food to go around also. It's distribution problems. like Governments. You know, warlords, as Bill Clinton taught us. Yeah. So wait, you just uh, jumped into that piece a, a few a little ways down. Is that right? There were just a few sentences in. Yeah, just a few sentences. Okay. Yeah, that was a few sentences in, and now I'm going to get to the, the meat of it here. Gotcha. It's already sparked so much conversation. Yeah. The I'm transhumanist age where radical science and technology will revolutionize the human being and experience. Will Transhumanism being the idea of sort of melding humans with machines. Yes. Uh, will eventually bring us indefinite lifespans, cyborgization, mm-hmm. cloning, the Terminator. even Skynet. E- echno- echnogenesis. Hmm. I should look that, that up. Be- I, 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 want, I meant to look that up before okay. the How's show. How's it spelled? Ectogenesis. Okay. Um, why don't you like, look it up? Like ectoplasm. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like ectoplasm. Uh, where people use artificial wombs outside of their bodies to raise fetuses. Maybe that's what that is. Ah, there you <laughs> go. Oh, yeah, I heard about, I heard about that on uh, one of these late-night conservative talk shows, like a womb that you carry around with you. Yeah, Johnson's the, been talking about those things, too, in the past. The guy was saying, well, now what happens if some illegal immigrant has got one of these wombs and hurls it across the border? <laughs> What happens then? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I guess, yeah, but but I mean, even according to the Constitution, you have to be born in the U.S. to be a U.S. citizen, isn't is isn't that right? Whatever is, that what, isn't that what his concern was? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, you know, I I I don't know what I mean, the, you just kick it back through the plane of the border, and um, you're good. Surely, people from Mexico can visit the United States the way that I can visit Mexico, right? What with a passport? Need a, well, yeah, yeah, with a passport or a day presumably. pass or whatever, just come across. Yeah, presumably. I mean, wouldn't it make sense that if you were a pregnant woman, you just keep crossing every day? I have no idea, man. Let's That'd jump back into the story here. Breeding controls and measures make more sense when you consider that some leading life extension scientists believe that we will conquer human mortality in the next 20 years. Already in 2010, scientists had some success with stopping and reversing aging in mice. The obvious question is, in this transhumanist future, should everyone be allowed to have unlimited children whenever they want? Well, not everybody will want to have unlimited children, and uh, on into the future, odds are good fewer people will be having children. We just talked about the sex bots the other night here on Free Talk Live. I don't know if you were on for that show. I was not on for the sex bots. Uh, But we've had sex bots here as a topic a couple times in the past, and you know, predictions are saying that uh, these things are coming and uh, there are going to be a lot of individuals who will be utilizing those. I think that'll probably end up controlling some level of, uh, that'll be some level you of control. You think there'll be fewer people when everybody can have sex with the sexiest man or woman on the planet? Is that what you're saying? Fewer p- uh, people birthed? Possibly. It seems pretty likely to me. Yeah. Sexual relationships bring so much complications and... and uh, right, robots right. probably not as hard to get along with In as In theory, uh, the robot will likely baggage. not attack you, hopefully. you know, the, Hopefully the robot won't throw things at the wall or Do whatever. You think, they'll, you think they'll have a setting for like being drunk? Because you don't want to be drunk by yourself. Mm. You need a drunk robot to sit there. There yeah. and get drunk with. All these are great questions, Mark, <laughs> and I imagine you won't be the only one thinking about questions like this. So, all in good time. Personally, I'm not interested in a in a sex robot, but I think a lot of people would be. Um, I think there's natural controls on people's fecundity that uh, people. This is just one of many scare scenarios about the end of the world because in this case of it's just going to be hordes just fighting each other for air to breathe and in fact that's if you just let people 
be free and not have a, a two-child limit or any such craziness like that. Well, we will grow to where we want to be, and then people who well, are uncomfortable with the population density will stop breeding. Have we consider to- at this point that we financially incentivize the creation of children, and then we... Com- in many cases, the same people will then will then complain that we are a planet with too many people. Well, okay, so have we gotten into the real scare scenarios here yet? I don't think we have. Right? This isn't about scare scenarios. Um, okay, that's what Johnny Ray, you were just addressing. Though, okay, right? yeah, because usually, usually when people accusing, right? Usually when people talk about um, overpopulation, that's what they suggest is that we're running out of room, even though there's all kinds of room here in the United States. What is it like, ninety six percent unurban? In the United States? I would say it's probably even higher than that, but okay. Yeah, it's very unurban here. There's plenty of open space to fit you know, the world's population if necessary. Yep, uh, I believe. And, and we're not even talking about building up because that changes everything too. Yeah, you could easily, I, be, I believe I, we looked at this and you could easily fit um, the world's population in the United States with like a, I think it was an acre or 10 acres or something like that. Like so, an, I mean, an, an acre, acre, an acre and a half. For a five-person family, that's I in the lower forty-eight. That's that was the that's the the result of research that I did many years ago. Okay. That's Excellent. Johnny Ray approved. It needs to. It probably needs to be rechecked uh, because I looked at it one time too. And I'll take things. your word for it, Johnny Ray. But um, yeah, I mean, I think you need more than uh, an acre and a half to support your family of five. Uh huh. But I think you could probably do it on an acre and a half if that's what you wanted to do. Um, really, th- what we find around the world is is that when people live rurally, they have more children. When people live urban, they uh, urbanly, uh, they uh-huh. tend to have fewer. That's because children are a liability in the city. They're an asset on the farm. You have them, you put them to work as or young as you possibly can, and you get as much work out of them until they finally say they're not going to do it anymore. <laughs> and th- so you have that. But we have this... Uh, this counter incentive situation in in the Western world where we give people money for to take care of the kids they have. You talking about welfare? Yeah, that's not me. That's the government. What's they, that? The, the government guys do that. I I don't support the government. Okay, I'm talking about we, the human beings. Yeah. I give money voluntarily Are you a human to being? local charity. Are you a human to, being? To help people, yes. But the, I don't what's we're the talking government. about? We're, we're talking about human beings on the planet. Well, when you said we, you meant the government guys, right? And their welfare. You're saying program. that Ian subsidizes uh, people's. Because I don't do that stuff. No, families. But there are plenty of human beings, like Ian is. Yeah. I, I sometimes wonder, but uh, there are plenty of human beings, okay. like Ian, I read I, like you. Ian, that demand that for in order for you to be a good human, you must support other people's children. We'll come back with more here in moments. You can take control at 855 450 free overpopulation. Free talk live. Results described should not be considered as guarantees of your actual earnings or profits. Results not typical. Check terms and conditions for income disclosures. How would you like to work from home, be your own boss, and make great money working online on your own time? These people saw the opportunity and took it. Working online changed my life. I was able to get out of my high-pressure corporate job. It all started with HomeIncomeOnline.com. I love that I'm able to spend more time with my kids while making over $10,000 per month. Go to HomeIncomeOnline.com today and enter special code 2121 to learn about a multi-billion dollar industry that's just waiting for you to tap into its incredible earning potential. Full and part-time opportunities are currently available. I just graduated college, and I'm making more money than I ever imagined. Are you ready to start making real money working online from home? Just go to HomeIncomeOnline.com now and enter special code 2121 to get your risk-free information kit. That's www.HomeIncomeOnline.com, special code 2121. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. 
Are you getting squeezed by the economic downturn? Hey, you were doing fine. Then, all of a sudden, you're having a tough time paying your family's credit card bills. Maybe you were downsized or even lost a job, but you still owe 10 grand or more in credit card bills. And you just can't afford the minimum payments anymore. We're here to help. We are the Genesis Debt Partners. We know the secrets to negotiate better terms with your creditors. Make a free 10-minute call right now and and learn how we can help you get out of debt. 800-981-7590. If you owe 10 grand or more in credit card debt and you want to learn how you can pay less and get out of debt faster, call right now. 800-981-7590. 800-981-7590. Get out of debt now. 800-981-7590. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live. Coming up later tonight, breaking news about a Free State Project participant and the Silk Road or his alleged role therein. We'll give you more on that here. 855-450-FREE. We're also talking about a proposal from Wired Magazine to restrict people's ability to have children. And uh, we haven't got into the real meat of that proposal. We'll get into that deeper here. The toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. You can bring up what you want. I am headed out to the first annual Marijuana Investment Conference. It's in Houston, September the 8th. And I'll be there mingling and finding out what the trends are and the um, the new nascent and burgeoning field of, of marijuana. The market's new and wide open. Lots of people are going to be there. And, you know, lots of people in this marketplace are going to be making a lot of money. Um, this isn't some kind of, you know, convention with a bunch of potheads wandering around. These it's are business people. Yeah, these are business people. And that's the intention. Marijuanainvestmentconferences.com. They're fo focused exclusively on bringing investors and legalized marijuana businesses together to create opportunities and to grow the sector. Now, I've never heard of a conference that uh, proposes to offer entrepreneurs opportunities to pitch their businesses and ideas to uh, bona fide investors, whether it's formally or in a casual networking setting. So please come join me at the uh, Weston Houston Memorial City on uh, September the 8th, bright and early. You can register to get uh, the early bird discount, marijuanainvestmentconferences.com. Use coupon code FTL, I'll, and I'll have some uh, FTL swag for you when you get there. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. If I can get 10 people to register for this event, it will pay all my expenses. So marijuanainvestmentconferences.com, coupon code FTL. All right, let's uh, go into your phone calls here. We'll also talk more about this proposal from Wired Magazine, one of their authors, uh, or maybe a guest columnist. I'm not really clear who the author is, but they published it. And they suggest they're suggesting here restricting people's ability to have children. Uh, well, into the future at some point. We'll go to Mike though first in Portland. You can bring up what's on your mind. Hello, Mike. Hey guys, how you doing tonight? Good. You're on the air. Go ahead with your thoughts. Awesome. Hey Ian, by the way, great speech the other night uh, at the uh, college about running for governor. And just want to say too, if even if you don't, you know, win the election or whatever, you put the bug in people's ear. 
when it comes to freedom and you know what the state is and stuff like that. Yeah, you're talking like, about the uh, gubernatorial debate they had last week. I had the opportunity to speak in front of it because I was unable to debate due to the fact that the other people running for Democratic governor here in New Hampshire would not debate me. So uh, the debate organizers were gracious enough to give me ten up to 10 minutes in front of the Republican debate. So, uh, of course, we recorded that and put it up over at freekeen.com. And, yeah, you're right. I mean, I don't expect to win the, the election. I'm putting uh, – I think I've put a total of like maybe $2 in postage into the campaign thus far, uh, there's you know like those res- you get when you're isn't there some money to register to vote to, to be on the okay sure, hundred bucks a filing fee yeah there's a hundred dollar filing fee but as far as like the actual campaign uh, goes because that's that hundred dollars doesn't count towards your campaign monies so, like here in New Hampshire if you spend more than five hundred dollars on a campaign you're supposed to report information about that but if it's below than five uh, below five hundred dollars you don't have to report anything so thus far i think my expenditures have been uh some personal postage some stamps to send back some candidate request it's sort of these info requests where different interest groups will send you out a little survey for instance and some of them have it online but a few of them you still have to do it snail mail so that's been about the extent of my campaign expenditures beyond responding also to phone calls from uh, interested media right I gotcha. What are the different um, kind of special so, interests? I'm, I'm curious about that. Oh, let's see. There was one right. for, uh, let's see, abortion rights. Uh, they sent one. Gun Knew rights. that was coming. Yep, gun that, rights, That's folks. another one. Uh, let's see. The New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, I believe, approached me. And the Campaign for Liberty, as well, I believe, was yeah. sending something out there. What did you tell the abortion people? What do you f- think about that? I pretty much ignored those guys. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Um, uh, anyway, Mike, I, I appreciate where you're coming from on that. I'm not sure where else you were going, so go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, too, um, if I still live in New Hampshire, I'd definitely vote for you. But uh, the reason I'm calling in is um, I'm actually interested in getting the Freedom Camp, and I'm actually in the process of getting a new computer, a MacBook Pro, and I had a Windows computer for six or seven years, and it mm-hmm. served me well, but it's broken down now. So I go on to the freedomcam.net site, and <clears throat> I look at the, uh, the specs about you know, the camera, and it says it's, that the software you get with it is Windows-compatible only. Mm-hmm. And in order to view, like, you know, your GPS and your location and your speed, you have to install that software. Right. But I was thinking, well, what if I just took the, the, um, the flash there from the camera and just stick it into... The computer. So I wrote the guy who who's in charge of the site, and he said it should play. It should open in a you know a quick time window. Well, here's what I'm concerned about. My, before you know, spending two hundred and fifty dollars on this camera, my concern is if I buy the MacBook Pro and I buy the Freedom Cam, what's going to happen when I take the flash drive and I actually stick it in? How am I going to see out the windshield camera as far as? inside also because there's two cameras yeah okay so here's your here's the answer to your question um you're talking about a long long time supporter of the show the freedom cam you go to freedomcam.net and they now actually have two different models of the freedom cam i know about the one that's the 250 fifty dollar one that you're talking about that's the one that i have uh in the vehicle that i that i drive and i believe that it creates two video files so basically two tracks essentially one for the camera that faces forward in the car and the other for the camera that faces inside the cab of the car. So you'd likely just be able to access uh, those if you loaded them into your Macintosh. So I hope that helps. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, tech support questions should be directed towards you know, the companies that uh, okay. that advertise on the show. It's obviously not what we're, we're best at handling here. But you do happen to know the answer. But I do know about how that works because, yes, I have put the uh, the card, the flash card, into my computer, and that's uh, that's what comes up. If I recall okay. correctly, I, when I when I had written to him, um, he said they were going to look at uh, seeing where they were with the engineering department about getting one out for Apple. Which mm. I mean, that would be great. But it's like I don't want to spend the money if it if I'm going to have problems, you know, using this not to its full you know capabilities. So, yeah, well, uh, you're not going to get its full capabilities with a Macintosh. I mean, that's just that that's true because as you pointed out, the software that is required. Uh, is for Windows, and that is what shows you the you know the GPS information. That's what shows you. This is a black box dash cam that has GPS info, so it'll show you where you are on a map. It'll show you the speed that you were going in the actual software. That information obviously isn't included on a video track. 
So, but I don't. I have one of these, the same one that you do, mm -hmm. and I almost never use the information that it's um, well, right there. You haven't been pulled over, and you haven't needed to to access it. Right. So, I mean, when you do need to access it, then you can, uh, you know, go access it on some Windows PC someplace. You certainly it could do that. Like a, yeah, but well. I mean, I've had this thing. I've had these things in my vehicle at this point for three years. These are the tribulations of owning a Macintosh, I'm afraid. In a lot of cases, you just don't get uh, the, the same access to software that uh, that Windows users do. I wish you the best, Mike, and uh, it's obviously something to consider. And thank you for the call tonight. Uh, hopefully, they will come out with uh, a Mac version, and maybe if there's enough demand from customers, uh, that'll be something that that is done. It does sound like they're, they're looking into it, at least. So that's a good thing. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. That is 855 855- 450-3733. Definitely recommend getting a dash cam, getting a cam on your cell phone, even carrying around a camcorder if you can, you know, if you get the room for it. More on the way here. You can take control. This is Free Talk Live. Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. It takes a lot of courage to face your own death, but I'm glad I finally did. See, I was putting off getting life insurance to protect my family, even though I knew it was important. Then my neighbor's husband died. I watched her struggle emotionally and financially. It really made me face reality. If my husband died, how would I pay the mortgage, the car payments, or keep up the life the kids and I had? I realized I needed to get us life insurance right away. So I called AIG Direct. In less than five minutes, I had a quote. I was shocked at how affordable it is. Just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. I feel so much better knowing my family has protection. Call AIG Direct right now for a free no-obligation quote. The call takes less than five minutes, and you can save up to 70%. Call now, 1-800-463-7479. That's 1-800-463-7479. 1-800-463-7479. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company Founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Do you love coffee as much as I love coffee? Here's a delicious way to drink the best of the best coffee and make a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox Coffee. And you can try a pound for free. All you do is cover shipping. It's organic, shade-grown, top 1% Arabica grade. 10% of future purchases help our efforts to give the gift of human freedom through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. 
Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, take control toll-free right here. The number is 855-450-FREE. More on the idea of population control still to come here tonight, plus some breaking news out of, uh, well, technically... The news is being broken in New Hampshire, but it's about a Free State Project participant who had not yet made the move. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and it has to do with the Silk Road, the underground drug and black marketplace. You can join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. You know why your life isn't fulfilling? Because you don't have any adventure. You can go get some adventure at Survival Training School of California. They are a they are one of the premier survival training schools in the world, endorsed by, well, uh, the United States Marine Corps Mountain Warfare Training Center, uh, the Na- the Navy's VX thirty one. That's their uh, their their search and rescue folks, and uh, the United States Air Force, uh, just to name a few. Those are some of the big names. But the Department of California Department of Justice has sent sent folks there, including Ford Motors. People have come from uh, forty different countries around the world to take their classes. Some people will fly in 3,000 miles just to take a weekend course. Now, not all of their courses are weekend. They've got lots of different courses, and you can go check them out. They've got courses running in the very near future, including a pocket knife only field training course, which is uh, going to be awesome. Um, the fact is that if you're a day hiker, those are the people that need it the most. They're the ones most likely to have uh, you know, you know, be in a situation where they need rescue and that sort of thing. You can go to CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. Now, beware of copycat sites with similar names because they try to use uh, the, you know, the California training, the California training school, excuse me. <laughs> it's, their website confuses me with the, the name of it. Survival Training School of California's website, CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. They try to use, uh, you know, that name and, and be able to sort of play off of it and, and you know, get some signups that way. But only CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com has Thomas Coyne, who is their lead instructor. And he's the one who gets all these accolades on places like Men's Health, Toronto Star, L.A. Times, World War Z, um, Will Smith's After Earth Survival Contest. It's CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. Let me give you the telephone number, 805-503-8861. CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. Mark, I'd like to add something to that, if I may. I've been to the Marine Corps Jungle Warfare Training School in, uh, in Okinawa, and that was... Incredibly fulfilling. I look back at that at, at that time, that week, I guess, maybe weekend that I spent doing that, and I remember, uh, you know, really feeling alive, like running um, along some rocky ridge, looking out over the jungle below, and doing. They give you some good views, don't they? Yeah, and doing some <laughs> some land navigation and learning some stuff like that, and um, it was just a great time. I bet it is. I'll bet it is. I'm really interested in it. I... Paintball patrols we did. Oh, that sounds like fun. I got lit up. Yeah. <laughs> That's always Ian good took time. me playing paintball one time. There's some like 12 year olds that just destroyed us. Really? You did. Wow. That place off phone three time ago. Yeah. Uh, Myrtle. Let's, let's go to the phones here and talk to Dave in New York. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Dave. Hey, guys. How's it going? What's on your mind? I went to an interview today, a job interview. Congrats. Okay. Congratulations. How'd it go? Um, I'm not sure if I want to take it because it's, it's more like it's, it's doing telephone surveys. Hmm. Okay. Of what sort? Uh, like, like political surveys and, you know, just tell your, you know, you can choose hours you want, whatever. I met with a guy and I have to tell you that the guy who I met with, he, he, he honestly looks like Daniel Bryan. I, don't I know who Daniel Bryan is. Like, who is that? A wrestler? Huh? I don't know who Daniel Bryan yeah, is. He, yeah, Daniel Bryan is, is a wrestler from the WWE, but he, he looks Mark. like Is he Daniel a good guy Bryan. or a bad guy? Obvi- that was an obvious one. I've never even heard the name before, but I know Dave in New York is a huge wrestling fan. Is he a good guy or a bad They're guy? They're called Faces and Heels, he, he, He's a good guy. He, he, he's a good guy, but like... For I'm now. Sure they always wanna, change if, him around. If I, if I want to... Yeah, he, he, he's been on like... like, a, like Okay, so or, the I, job like, interviewer but, looked like a wrestler. Yeah, but... I'm is not that a strike sure against him? Job. 
Okay. I'm not sure if I if I want to. Why? What's holding you back? I mean, because this sounds like you know making political calls. It's it's a hell of a lot easier than selling timeshares. Yeah, I mean, it's legit, I guess. People have their phone numbers out there, and some people call and call and ask the questions. Because I've I've never really done this kind of work before, and you have to like you know read you have to read read a a script. Uh huh. Can you read? People say, oh. Yeah, you have to read a script okay. to, to, like, you know, these kind of people, who, uh-huh. who you, whoever you call, and it's like doing, like, political surveys. You read this, uh, like, they, they give you, like, a script to read and blah, blah, blah. And what's it you, pay? You to, oh, I, I don't know. It's, it's a different script each day. So no, what's I, it pay? I don't know. I, I'm, now, what's it say? Oh, what's, what's it pay? pay? Yeah. Oh, uh, eight seventy five an hour. What's the job you got right now pay? Uh, I don't have a job right now. Then, uh, then I, this, this conversation is over. Take the job. Take the job? Why? Because you don't have a job. <laughs> That's the reason. You, it's it's talking on the telephone. They're not asking you to sell anything. You go, you take... next Monday. What's that? I said start. I start next Monday. Well, get well, then, on it, man. Then, then, no ask them if, then ask him if you can start tomorrow. Well, no, because the, the guy thinks I'm, I'm kind of busy this, during this week, so he asked me why, why can I come in. I said next, and, and I said next Monday. Well, I got stuff I got to do this week. It so baffles said, me how said, busy unemployed people are. You have no money to do anything. How can you be busy? I I have, been, I have stuff I have to do this week. All right. But, um, Monday morning, I, I, bright I, I and early. Be a half an hour early. <laughs> Bring a sandwich. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Good luck. Toll-free number, 855 450 free. Yeah. Dress for the job you want, not for the job you have. Well, Dave, uh, from what I understand, I dress for the it's, job I have. Uh, he claims You're a janitor. He's, he claims he's not on welfare, but that caller there, Dave, uh, claims he's not he's on not, welfare. That's what he claims. But at the same time, we've heard that he lives in some sort of a uh, welfare housing unit. Of I some don't care sort, where so. he lives. He needs a job. Yeah, but this just goes to show when somebody doesn't have an incentive, you know, if their bills are all paid for him. And I'm not saying that's Dave's case. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I, somebody's Sounds paying like his bills. You're saying. If all of his bills aren't paid for by the state, then maybe it's mom and dad who are paying his bills, but somebody is paying to put food in Dave's mouth. And so uh, these folks who are in that situation, they don't seem to have the motivation that they need to go out and do what you're saying, Mark. I mean, he apparently has gone so far as to have an interview, which is, you know, that's something. But here he is with second thoughts about an actual job that's being offered to him in a time in an economy where people are complaining left and right about not having opportunities. He's got one on his plate, and he's second-guessing it because he's got to be comfortable. He's obviously living very comfortably because why else would you say no to a way to make money for yourself, for a way to put your own food into your own mouth? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. The the only reason you work to change to— to, the only reason you sweat to bring yourself up is sometimes when you're in really desperate circumstances. But everybody's line is different for for how they can how they will allow themselves to live. Sure. What what level of filth will they put up with? What level of crowdedness, etc. Yeah. I mean, different people want different lives, and I think they should be able to have them. Um, I just don't think that we should have to you know, subsidize them in whatever way. And I don't really want to hear the complaining. If somebody is complaining about not having work, and then they turn down a job, that's the last I want to hear about it. Didn't Dave call in once? Compl- he's he, he, yeah, he's complained about not having work in the past. No, yes. he was compl- He was looking a gift horse in the mouth. Somebody was going to take away his car, his phone, or something like that. Yep, that sounds right. Sounds like Dave. And that's, there that's, you go. Yeah. Uh, Toll free number is 855 450 free. So, overpopulation. Some would say that there are a number of people out there who shouldn't be here. And maybe they wouldn't be here if there were some disincentives for people to breed. And that's what Wired Magazine is putting out there, although well, we haven't heard much of it yet. Yeah, you're kind of uh, you know pointing it out. Well, it, it says. This guy's talking about, he's not talking about why we need to mm-hmm. restrict population. Is he talking about he's how just, to do it? He's just talking about different, uh, you know, he's proposing sort of, uh, you know, building the case. But he's not saying things like, well, look, this is, these are, these are the facts of how human beings are destroying the planet. Mm-hmm. He's not doing that. We've had articles like that in the past, yeah. and they're interesting, but that's not what this guy's doing.
Well, we'll find out, I guess, what he is doing in moments. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE-PLUS. We'll give you some breaking news involving one Free State Project participant and the Silk Road underground drug marketplace. This is Free Talk Live. Crashed, the death of the dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones adds, This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year. Crash is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm Mm-hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time consuming expensive office visits no no and no no for a limited time you can try no no pro risk-free you'll also get the facial kit and a travel case get weeks of long-lasting results that's it i'm getting a no no great minds do think alike (laughs) (laughs) try no no pro risk-free by calling 800-952-5760 800 952 5760. That's 800 952 5760. 800 952 5760. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. By the way, if you are ready 
to get into the world of Bitcoin. Uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine actually just hooked up with Bitcoin today, which is... I guess uh, I know who that is. There's not a very long yep, list that happy. you've just uh, <laughs> rattled off there. I'm happy to see that uh, that happen. More and more people are jumping into the world of Bitcoin. Of course, the easiest way to get started is with your free Bitcoin wallet from blockchain.com. Just go to blockchain.com, whether you have a smartphone in Android or iPhone flavor, or perhaps you've got a tablet, etc., even just any old desktop or laptop computer. That'll all work to get you a Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.com. And now's a great time to get started with Bitcoin. In fact, we, we might tell you how to get some Bitcoin a little bit later on tonight uh, because the price is down right now compared to what it was a couple weeks ago. So now might be a good time to, to jump in. As we continue here, your calls and thoughts, welcome. Let's go to Pete. We'll talk more about overpopulation here in a moment, uh, plus some disturbing uh, video apparently of an American photojournalist being beheaded by alleged ISIS militants. Pete, you're on Free Talk Live from California. Okay, well, uh, well, two questions. Well, a comment and a question. All right, uh, the first question is, I want you to identify what this sound is, all right? Tell me what this sound is. Somebody choking. Asphyxiation. Sound? Yeah. Doesn't sound like a very good time. Yeah, asphyxiation. I like that answer. Uh -huh. Yeah, something like that. You know, uh, well, guess again for double jeopardy. Uh, yeah, I'm out of guesses. Just go ahead and tell us. Okay. Well, that's the sound of uh, Article 3, Section 3, and Obama being hung for treason with 90% of the, our elected officials. Man, that was my next guess. Okay, so you, well, anyway. I mean, come on, really? Hung, hanging someone for treason? Obviously, you don't think that's oh, really going to happen, that. right? Well, that's not as humane as the lethal injection, but... I yeah, don't know. There's a lot of evidence that hanging is more, more it, humane. Seems like the point of... The snapping, point. A, snapping a chicken's neck, I mean, it's not that it, it hurts, you know? So I, I think I think they should get the lethal injection, you know, because, uh, I mean, they're, they're traitors. They don't care about the common guy. They'd rather... They're selling out to corporations... In the face of people and taking their tax money, that's called treason. Okay, that's so what they've done all. So who should, who is it that should get the lethal injection? Just to be clear, For basically ninety percent of the population. Ninety nine. Ninety nine percent. No, not the population. Ninety nine percent. The population of Washington is what I was going to say, but I was, I was should have said politicians. Okay, so well, let's say course, that you know, I mean this is a obviously a ridiculous uh, scenario. But this let's is the say, French Revolution. Let's say you get what you want. Let's say that tomorrow morning you wake up and ninety percent of the politicians in Washington D.C. have been uh, given the lethal injection in their sleep in the night, and they are no longer with the world. It's of a the good living. start. Uh, now. So now I, what? I would be I would be in tears. I would I, I would say thank you, Jesus. Justice, justice. Thank you. I can, I mean, I can answer work. that. I can no answer work. that for you, Ian. The the I'm presumably to have Pete the, answer it, but go for it, Johnny. Ray. Presumably, the ninety percent are bad, and the ten percent are good, and they Presuming. care about individual liberty, and they're going to they're going to start. Am I right, Pete? These, I mean, the ten percent are good, and they care about us, and they care about freedom. Well, I'm I'm a I'm a Tea Party. You know, I'm the cadre of the Tea of the Tea Party in one of these cities and stuff. And I'll tell you, I, I don't really agree with everything the libertarian thing has, but we believe in less government, and the government's too intrusive. I don't know, I, I don't know if, if it's too much to ask for individual rights and them to stay out of things, but I don't know if you like prism watching you. I don't know if. If, if you think it's okay for somebody to extort you to have to pay taxes every year. Yeah, but you get, the thing is, I'm with you on things. all the philosophy, Pete, and I don't know if you're related to the guy that called in last night to advocate for uh, killing cops. Uh, you're not the same guy, are you? That was me. Absolutely. That was you. Okay, okay. Not a, yep, not really it. a surprise there. So last night you called in at the beginning of the show to yourself. advocate the killing of police, and now you're advocating the extermination or near extermination of uh, Congress. And there's certainly no doubt that more people That's will reason. probably agree with you about exterminating Congress than exterminating the police. But nonetheless, I don't think, and I'm going to you know, sound like a broken record here, I don't think you can solve your problem with violence. Uh, but let's just go on with the scenario well, because we never thing. really got your answer. Uh, we got Johnny Ray's answer. So my scenario was: let's I'm say you get what you let's say you get your wish. You got ninety percent of Congress is dead tomorrow morning. Now what? And see, 
hey, this whole thing that I'm against Cox, no, I'm not against Cox. I'm totally for the constitutional sheriff's thing and Richard Mack because that is a peace officer. What we have now is basically glorified mercenaries. Right. You know, I you know, appreciate that, and we did talk about the police last night, but I've, I've asked you a specific question. You know that- We're having a conversation about your idea to exterminate Congress or 90% of them. So what happens after the extermination? Then what? What happens? Yeah. Well, assuming... Well, it would it would shock the trash out of people. You know, people it would, would shock be, them. What, what what people would be be shocked? They'd be like a lot of people would be in tears and say, "Oh, yeah. justice!" But you know what? They need to rebuild, and by the grace of God, we would rebuild on Judeo Christian common law and oh. our, con- our constitution. But now, we, but what does that mean? Thing. Judeo Christian common law. Is that like some sort of theocratic to... thing? Can can we rebuild? Get, Is that like Sharia law? Uh, here, if if we're rebuilding, don't we all get a stay a say? And do we want to? Like, I'm not sure. I want a Judeo Christian anything. Absolutely, a common. See, I, what I hate about the libertarian thing, also, a lot of times y'all use the freedom thing for an excuse for morality. I believe the King James Bible all the way. I yeah, believe but the King James Bible isn't about morality. Do you remember when God sent the uh, Jews in to wipe everybody out in AI? That's not morality. Morality were, is a oh, code yes, like is. libertarians have, which is to say you will not aggress against somebody else. You will not steal their stuff. You will not lie to them. There's morality, not That's the Bible. Not common law. That's not. That's called common law. And guess where our common law came from? The Bible. I, I think you know, that. That's the whole I think thing. that there's an argument that uh, libertarian philosophy and common law have some things to go um, to go by, but I don't think that there's much argument that the Bible has much to do about with uh, morality. So, Pete, what, yes, why does. was your name different last night? Why was? Uh, yeah, didn't you call in it? as Equalizer? I think it was last night. Yes, that's that's my alias. But any oh, okay. any who is, is Pete your actual police. name, or is that another alias? Well, that's my name. You All know, right, great. Me, yeah, I appreciate you it if you'll okay. call in with the same name, so we know that you know we'd like to uh, kind of be able to recognize you easier. It was I only recognized you tonight, not by, not because of your voice, but because of the topic of your it's call. You style. seem to be obsessed with violence as a solution, and uh, of course, it's no, a ridiculous I'm not idea. With it. I. I would hope that, you know, violence doesn't have to be used. Mm-hmm. I hope to put that off as much as possible. But the left is high in the sky, high by and by thing that, oh, we're just going to occupy and protest and stuff. Uh, I think it's at a point where they don't care. They don't care if they shoot pepper balls at kids. They don't care if, if they kick in your door and get in the wrong house and flash bang your baby. At what point do people say stop? And what's it going to take for a tyrant to say stop? Because I don't remember. That's right. I agree that people should say I, stop, but g- going around and shooting politicians or police r- is not going to increase your freedom. Is. It's not going to increase your freedom. Do you understand is. that? We don't have any freedom. I'm not afraid you get to die. Of oh, you're being no silly now. Thanks for the call, Pete. Obviously, you have some freedoms. You have the ability to make Pick gen- up the phone you know, and decisions. call in here. Yeah, decisions. Most most of your daily decisions, you're free to make on your own. But you don't have some freedoms. And the way to achieve more freedoms is not to go around on a killing spree, uh, to overtly or covertly murder anyone. Because ultimately, what will end up happening is you'll be used as the example of why it is that the government is necessary to help keep people safe from these crazies who are going around killing people. Also, if you want to make the world, um, you know, if you want more freedom, you have to offer freedom to everybody. Uh, and w- when you say let's kill the politicians, you're te- you're saying uh, to among the most powerful people in the country, hey. We want freedom for ourselves, but you're going to die. And you, you're you not going to get anywhere by keeping the powerful out. Essentially, every revolution, I'd love to hear the one that wasn't. Every revolution in human history was one group of powerful people using a group of, you know, plebes like us to overthrow another group of powerful people. So um, I, I'm not interested in this revolution. What happens when, when you do that is, is that you then have the new, the, the new powerful people ruling over the plebes in the place of the old powerful yes. people. And, and it, I, I have seen nothing else. That's why I think they call them revolutions, because we just revolve around and do the same thing same over and over again. Same old process. Yeah, it's exactly true. I'm frustrated, and I understand Pete's frustration. But I don't think Pete has any solutions except let's kill folks and then see what happens. Mm. 
yep, not going to work out. Now, I don't blame Pete for feeling upset and feeling frustrated. He, after all, does live in California, and it's not exactly a place to foster freedom. Uh, so a lot of people, of course, who love the ideas of liberty are moving to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. Unless, of course, they get arrested and charged with federal crimes, as one man has uh, has had happen to him, who is a Free State Project participant. We will share that story with you coming up here, and this is Free Talk Live. The Lumber Liquidators Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is on with over 250 of the latest styles all on sale now. Get Black Forest Oak Laminate for a crazy 39 cents a square foot. Beautiful and durable bamboo for just $159. Classic pre-finished gunstock oak hardwood for $149. All gorgeous Bella Wood pre-finished hardwood is on sale. Plus get special 24-month financing. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday the 2nd. The fall flooring season is here. Why aren't you? Hi. This is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F E E N P H O N E.com. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, August 19th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.69 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,301 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $472. Antiwar.com reports, protest leader Imran Khan continued to try to push the Sharif government out of power yesterday, announcing that his entire PTI party, the third largest in parliament, will quit en masse to try to bring down the prime minister. Khan initially organized the protest over allegations of vote fraud, but after Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif got charged with multiple counts of murder on Saturday, the calls for an immediate resignation and fresh elections have grown. The PTI holds about 10% of the seats in parliament and will also resign from significant positions in three provincial parliaments. The move by Khan is seen by some as an attempt to return to a clear leadership position in the protest movement. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. Fans are friends, allies, and numerary supporters. Fans help FPP afford to produce more original content. To learn more or to join the Fans program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F-A-N-S dot F-P-P-Radio dot com. Reuters reports Missouri Governor Jay Nixon lifted the curfew for Ferguson on Monday and began deploying National Guard troops to help quell days of rioting and looting spurred by the fatal shooting of an unarmed teenager by police. Nixon, who had declared a state of emergency for the town on Saturday and ordered the streets be cleared for a curfew that ran from midnight to 5 a.m., said the National Guard would fall under the supervision of the Missouri Highway Patrol. The deployment of the National Guard is the latest in a series of 
steps taken by authorities to end the looting and burning of stores that have punctuated protests since the shooting death of Michael Brown more than a week ago. As daylight was coming to an end on Monday, police with plastic handcuffs took positions and tried to clear a main thoroughfare where protests have been taking place at night, directing crowds into designated protest areas. Early video of the scene showed one journalist with cameras slung around his neck and his hands bound behind him, being led off by police. He was later identified by colleagues as Getty photographer Scott Olson. Overnight, two people were shot and 31 total arrests were made in the protest. Additionally, there are reports of media being told they had to stay in media staging areas and could not be in the protest areas. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. Breitbart reports, Australian WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange claimed that he will soon leave the Ecuadorian embassy in London where he has been holed up for the past two years as he tries to avoid arrest and extradition to Sweden over sexual assault allegations. Assange was granted political asylum by Ecuador in 2012 during the controversy following his release of leaked confidential documents which took a strange turn after Sweden announced its intention to extradite him over accusations accusations of sexual assault. During his two years in the embassy, Assange has not been able to step outside for fear of being arrested. If he were taken to Sweden under the auspices of the European arrest warrant and then extradited to the US, he could face the same fate as whistleblower Private Manning. Private Manning was sentenced to 35 years of imprisonment in 2013 for leaking files to WikiLeaks. Breitbart London was at the scene outside the Ecuadorian embassy yesterday where the world's press gathered to watch and wait as Assange continued his game of cat and mouse with the British authorities. While throngs of media waited outside with pro-Assange protesters dotted in amongst them, a police officer told Breitbart London that they did not expect Assange to be leaving the embassy. Assange has been on able to seek proper treatment for his deteriorating health, which may have been aggravated by being unable to step outside. Metropolitan police officers have been stationed outside the embassy permanently since 2012 with orders to pounce should he leave the diplomatic area. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. This is William Chambers, now a retired insurance salesman. Chambers is just one of over 95% of grandfathers who, according to a new report from the Center of Business Intelligence, secured their first and only job by walking right up to the owner of a business and asking for a position right then and there. I slammed my fist on the desk and said, I'm your man. He stood right up. He shook my hand and he said, you come in first thing Monday morning. According to the report, nearly 36% of grandfathers claim that they found employment by entering a local business with nothing but a nickel in their pockets and a shirt on their backs. 24% saw a fine looking marquee for a business and said, someday my name's going to be on that sign. And 40% of grandfathers said they snuck into the CEO's office and said, Mr. McKinley, sir, I'm your guy. It just took gumption. You didn't need some fancy internship looking the boss dead in the eye and showing him you were a man. That was your internship. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. All you have to do is dial in toll-free here, 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. That's brought to you by ProXPN. We've got Skype. Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. Wired Magazine is asking, is it time, or excuse me, they're not asking, the person writing the story is saying, it's time to consider restricting human breeding and we've kind of barely scratched the surface on this discussion and the story we'll get back into that we also have ken on the line in raleigh uh, listening to talk radio 850 hey ken ken in raleigh going once ken in raleigh do we have the phone pot potted up and turned on i don't know maybe something's wrong with ken's uh cell phone we're going to put him back on hold here and see if we can 
iron out whatever those issues might be. We'll try to get Ken on here in a moment. The toll-free number again is 855-450-FREE. So, Mark, bring us up to speed. This is a Wired UK piece, and the author is... Well, we kind of barely have really gotten into it here. We ended up getting sidetracked on some related discussions about how there's plenty of space, so what's the big fear about overpopulation? He's not, you're saying, fear-mongering about overpopulation. He's just... Well, he's, he's taking it as a given. You know, the, with uh, 10,000 children He's saying we're overpopulated. Day. He's that's, saying this isn't something the idea. to fear in the future. Like right now, it's gone too far. That's the idea. Gotcha. The philosophical conundrum of controlling humans' procreation rests mostly on whether all human beings are actually responsible enough to be good parents and can provide properly for their offspring. Clearly, untold numbers of children, for example, those millions that are slaves in the illegal human trafficking industry, are born to unfit parents. Um, in an attempt to solve this problem and give hundreds of millions of future kids a better life, I cautiously endorse the idea of licensing parents, a process Ooh. that would be a little different than getting a driver's license. Parents who pass oh, yeah. a series no of problem. basic tests qualify and get the green light and get pre can get pregnant and raise children. Load lots of people, parents included, are, are standing up and cheering and clapping their hands. You hear this so often. People, you should have to have a license to have a parent to be a parent. I honestly, you know, I honestly uh, could could easily be in this sort of, uh, of of area. I am of the opinion that most people that have children are unqualified to have them. And however, I understand that human beings are an extraordinarily difficult animal to control. And the best way to control them is to allow them to do the things that they want to do. What you can't do is the more strictures, the more you try to sort of finesse the way they, the, the, they're they going to be, the less successful you're going to be. So currently we have in this, uh, in this country and many, um, you know, these are mostly the people that are going to be positing this are sort of those from the West, right? So all the people that are from the West live in countries where they subsidize the breeding of humans and then complain that humans that are breeding are unqualified to breed. Mm -hmm. I mean, is this the stupidest, most circuitous kind of argument you've ever heard? Tell Good you point. what, if you don't want those people breeding, stop subsidizing their breeding. Stop giving them money the to incentive. take care of their children. Yeah. If they have to take care of their children on their own, they will find other ways to do it. Maybe they'll give them up for adoption to people that are better qualified to take care of them. Maybe they will live with their parents and their parents will take care of them. Maybe they will, you know, use a darn condom. Um, I mean, you know, we've all heard stories of people that simply have children to get the welfare. Sure, that exists. I, I, so what's the uh, This None of this makes any sense to me. Yeah, I like You want to control you're... human breeding? Stop getting the state involved. I like where you're coming from on this. I mean, that that makes sense. Strike the problem at the root. Government you know? policies always have these unintended consequences. Well, in this case, there's a big consequence, and that would be that a new bureaucracy would need to be formed. Uh, you know, some sort of enforcement of marriage, not marriage well, licenses, but uh, they probably require a marriage or something, but uh, also some kind of enforcement of this new baby policy. Well, listen uh, to this for a second. Um, so those that are deemed... Uh, unworthy perhaps because they're homeless or have drug problems or are violent criminals or have mm -hmm. resources to don't have have no resources to raise a child properly and keep it from going hungry would not be allowed until they could demonstrate that they were suitable parents now i want to think about the byzantine bureaucracy that i might have had to go through in order to have a child mm. because my wife and i decided to have a child we had a child now i don't like government paperwork very much but i am a convicted felon so now I have to go to this guy's agency that's created in order to solve his little problems in order to have my beautiful son, Jack. This is outright disgusting tyranny. It comes home to every one of us. And they're going to decide who can have them and who can't. Then they're going to, you know, there's still just a few too many kids. You know what we have? We have too many black kids and not enough white kids. So then they're going to start subsidizing white kids and disincentivizing black kids. Or, you know what? These Mexicans keep coming in. No Mexicans are allowed to have kids. I mean, it just keeps on getting weirder from here. Well, what you're suggesting isn't un unusual or unheard of when a government program is started. First of all, the guy writing this article is likely not going to be the architect of whatever the program Indeed. is. But even if he were the architect of that, 
then he would not be there uh, in the future as it morphs out of its original parameters. So even if you sitting there, uh, as this guy likely believes he can, can envision the perfect program that would really help, you know, make sure that parents are the best possible parents they can be and that those children don't go to those undesirable parents. Uh, even if you could come up with the perfect scheme mm -hmm. for that, uh, again, it would not be enforced in the way you expect. It would not be enforced by you. It would be enforced by government bureaucrats whose incentives may be different than the incentives you were thinking of when you formed the program. And either way, you're going to see, as you do with all government programs, it grow way out of the bounds of its proportion. Oh, it, it may only be to restrict a few people in the beginning, but by the end of 10 years, it may be restricting a far more than what you had ever intended. And the program itself may become more violent uh, than you ever envisioned. I mean, you, this, uh, not you, Mark, but the, you, the author here of this Wired piece, probably have some utopian vision for way, you know, the way you think people should breed and and you see this as a way to bring that about. And that's scary uh, because government is force. And maybe this individual doesn't really understand that. Maybe they feel like, oh, well, we'll just find them or something like that. But it never ends up being just a fine because if you don't pay the fine, then you go to prison. And in the case of a baby, if you've had, uh, you know, if somebody has gotten pregnant and then there's some sort of rule that says, well, if you've gotten pregnant, you need to inform the local bureaucracy of children, uh, children authorization, and they have to assess you within a certain period, you know, time frame. And then presumably they would force people to get abortions, right, at that point. Would they not? I mean, if, if, if you're not allowed to have children and you get knocked up, I mean, at some point they, like, they might propose man, uh, mandatory sterilization, I suppose, I mean, this can go all kinds of crazy places. Well, it's flagrant would, offenders. Yeah, I mean, most people, a, a good percentage of the population gets pregnant by accident. Right. So, um, you know, I mean, you're going to have to be... You know, that would be one strike against them, likely, right out the gate. Women, maybe men, too. We could finally have male birth control that isn't, uh, you know, a sh sheath of rubber. Um, that, you know, we'd have to stand in line every month at uh, work or school in order to get our little shots. Um, you know, let's just do it right in high school, in the government schools. Uh, you know, and frankly, it doesn't bother me if it becomes part of the government program. Look, in order to come to our government school, then all the kids that are a you know twelve and up have to get a a monthly shot of birth control. I don't care, really. I don't care. Um, if if you're going to send your kid to government school, you get what you get. Um, don't have don't expect me to go defending you on that one. You're going to take the welfare, which that's what it is: middle class government babysitting welfare. Mm -hmm. And you expect the consequences. But when you start telling other people outside of this that they've got to do it, college students, they get, uh, they get pretty much every school, college in this country gets government money. So why wouldn't they have a program? Then you've got them from uh, not just stopping at 18, but you've got them up to 22. Uh, there you go. Just keep on. And of course, it's college students the one which we want most because you don't want the dumb, the smart people breeding, right? And so off it goes. Uh, author says here, of course, the problem is always in the details. How mm. could society monitor such a licensing process? Would governments force abortion upon mothers who are found to be pregnant without permission? Good questions. These things seem unimaginable in most societies around the world. Besides, who wants the government handling human breeding when it can do basic when who it indeed? can't do basic things like balance its own budgets and stay out of wars? He's making a persuasive point there. I'd like to know his answer. The he wants the World Health Organization. Might, maybe they can step in and offer that more right? confidence. Is that where he's going next? Well, that's, World next Health that's what he just said. All right. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE, because they're nothing like a government. It's Free Talk Live. Crashed. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones ads this is an excellent book it is also a little scary because it could very well be true i hope it's fiction and julia moffett calls it a gripping read and the most exciting insightful book this year crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its amazon reviewers calling for a sequel this book is totally worth your time it's well researched liberty oriented realistic gripping and gritty do yourself a favor and don't miss this one get your copy at amazon 
Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. The Department of Health and Human Services has issued a new ban preventing the nation's Shaunas from any further use of tanning salons. The ruling was made after a study found that Shaunas are exposed to roughly 5,000 times more UV radiation each year than the average American. They are at a very high risk of developing melanoma and orangey leathery skin. Shaunas, uh, you are tan enough. The nation's Shaunas have reacted negatively to the ban. I don't care what the government says. I just want 15 bucks and scratches, so I'm getting a freaking tan. This sucks. None of us have time for this shit. We've got Tammy's at home to raise. In an Onion News Network poll of Shaunas across the country, more than 30% argued that a pale complexion will negatively affect the size of their tips at Ruby Tuesdays. And more than half have said that their boyfriends, Dennis, like them tan. And he's the father of their second child, so they want him to stick around. This is the Onion News Network. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F E E N P H O N E.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. We talk live, take control right here. Toll free numbers 855 450 free. Do you agree with this wired piece, this author who is. Basically suggesting that, uh, you know, that, that you need to have some sort of a license to reproduce. That you have to ask, some, you should, in his version of the world, his vision for what uh, should exist, that uh, you would have to go to some sort of panel or some bureaucrat and uh, supplicate yourself in front of them and ask for their permission uh, to have children. And this it's a disturbing idea. Is, this is Lucille at the Parental Licensing Board. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, that seems a little too friendly for uh, for how it would likely go. They don't want to help you. These Denied. These government bureaucrats. Denied. Yeah. I mean, and how many times you've been to the DMV and stood in a line for two hours just to find out you need to go get another piece of paperwork and then come back and stand again in the line and then, oh, no, you got to get this other piece of paper. I mean, it's just... It's almost always no when you ask government for permission to do yeah, things. The government is all about no, aren't they? But I'm sure if you had enough money, you know, you probably would kind of get fast-tracked through this particular system. Certainly if you have political sway, uh, people inside politics who know you and can, can pull some strings. But I want to know, I mean, if you think this guy is right on, if you think that uh, overpopulation is a problem and that... Uh, people are having kids who shouldn't be having kids, and you want to somehow put a stop to that, go ahead, call in, share your vision. Because maybe it's different from this guy's. 
You know, each each little control freak out there has their own version of the way things ought to go in their mind. Well, that's the unfortunate part is because it never goes the way that you want it to go. Uh, the government program never works the way the person who thought up the government program imagined it would work. Just take a look at this Obamacare thing. Mm. People imagined yeah, there would out? be a working website to go with this. <laughs> I mean, our lives are full of large working websites. You too Why much. wouldn't the most powerful, most wealthy organization on the planet be able to pull this off? Right. Because they have no competition. They don't get market signals. They don't understand. People that do get market signals, like... Small business people, mm. like, for instance, uh, like Jess- a mom and pop business. Jessica Armand, the liberty loving homeschool mother of three who created My Magic Mud. You know, these this is where the innovations come from. It comes from it comes from the minds of everyday people. Jessica wanted to see her kids uh, for, for one. They didn't like the t- taste of toothpaste and they didn't like brushing. She wanted to make something that was going to be all natural, didn't have fluoride in it that the kids would like to use. She ended up coming up with the idea for My Magic Mud. It's uh, bentonite clay and charcoal, the kind of charcoal that's in charcoal filters. It bonds with uh, the water, things in the water in order to make it so that water's pure. Well, this stuff binds with the stuff in your uh, mouth, like bacteria and things like that, and gets it out of there and pulls it out. If you use My Magic Mud one time, you'll see the difference in your teeth because it's a stain remover, a powerful stain remover. I used it four times. All the stains were gone. I mean, my mouth was just, my teeth were just the color they're supposed to be. They feel polished all the time. I use it three times a week. I start, I used it every day when I first got it, but now three times a week. Go listen to biological dentist Dr. Griffin Cole as he explains a lot of the benefits of My Magic Mud. It's right there on the front page at MyMagicMud.com. It's this product I will use for the rest of my life because it's that good. MyMagicMud.com. And you can see a great video that we've uh, linked to at Mud.FreeTalkLive.com. So go check it out. MyMagicMud.com and Mud.FreeTalkLive.com. Okay, let's continue here uh, with your calls. If you want to make them, you can dial on in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. I really would love to hear from somebody who thinks that this Wired article author is onto something, that he's got the right idea. We, we need to have some sort of government program. Nobody really knows what exactly it would look like, but he may be presenting some ideas here in a moment uh, as far as how one should go about getting permission to have children. That's been the proposal. That's it. So if you agree with that, 855-450-FREE. So he says, I see near-term hope in what could be called a, a new transhumanist-inspired birth control device originally developed at MIT and now backed by funding from Microsoft founder Bill Gates. The implanted microchip lasts for up to 16 years. Three times the current implantable devices, including IUDs, and can deliver hormones into the body via an on-off switch Hmm. on your mobile phone. It's not a huge jump to imagine the government seeing opportunity In using this, many children born into poverty end up costing taxpayers billions. Sadly, a high percentage of those same kids will end up in the streets, in gangs, or in prison after they become adults. Just as legalization of abortion has helped drive down crime rates, this is a supposition. We don't know for certain that this is the case, but it... It's a supposition. Yes, I've heard a similar one that uh, that increased taxes and sort of paternal policy has caused Americans to stop smoking cigarettes. Could be. Maybe. I doubt it. I think it's the uh, overall um, interest in health. Sorry to interrupt you, Mark. No problem at I, all. I have to say I'm a little confused. All right. I'm, I missed maybe one detail on this chip. Some sort of a birth control delivery chip? It's a new chip? transhuman-inspired birth control device originally developed at MIT and now backed by funding from so Microsoft this is here. Bill Gates. This is here. Yes. And is the proposal to put it in uh, poor children or um, put it in It would who? be just put in people, I guess. Violent people. Well, if you're going to license, then you're going to have to put Drug, it in everybody, right? Drug-addicted folks. Right. The idea would be you'd put this into everybody by default, and then if they get the license, then it can change, the, flip the switch. That's exactly that what it would do. Because at this point, the, the device can be turned on and off with a uh, with uh, a smartphone. So therefore, the government mm. would have some kind of you know magic radiating machine that turns yep. your device on um, when you're approved for birthing. You're approved. Bloop, bloop. But of course, hey. The government can't keep control of its own laptops. It loses the information. It loses social security yeah. numbers all the time. They're just going to 
turn on? I mean, people are going to hack these things. Yeah, but there might be felony charges. I mean, if you hack into government property, that's oh, yeah. obstructing government administration. Sure. It's well, not always a felony. I mean, but it could be made a felony. I mean, if this were taken seriously, look, this is the world we're protecting here. We need to stop the dummies from uh, from birthing. So I think we're, we're a long darn way everyone. in America from licensing people to give birth. Um, I think the Constitution is going. It it provides weak protection, mm -hmm. but I think it's going to protect against this. I think oh, if somebody, uh, you know, somebody hacks their gizmo that's been put in their neck um, to uh, keep them from breeding, that they would be able to go to court and say, I am simply acting upon my God-given right to procreate. Oh. I just... I think you're being awfully optimistic here, Mark. I mean, I appreciate that you still believe in the Constitution and all that, which is kind of news to me. It seemed like you had, you know, come, come to the Didn't understanding... Didn't I said that it was weak protection? Right. I mean, we've certainly seen how the I Constitution said, has been eviscerated. I don't think today that this is going to happen today. in America. But what about 10 years? I don't think so. I remember 10 years ago, you said New Hampshire would have a bubble over it to protect it from cold weather. That goes to show your <laughs> ability to protect, to project, uh, to predict anything, my friend. So, uh, no, no. I don't I, think I made that prediction. Yeah, you said maybe. It seems like said. American society could sort of go one way or the other. And I personally think that we're going towards the kind of individual liberty that the three of us all hope and dream for. But it it can go the other side of the fence too and and either way it's going to be an extreme so if we go to the statist route then yeah we we got to have we we got to have this toll free number tonight 855 450 free does he have more to say on Much. his grand vision yeah. we'll share that with you and your thoughts are welcome here the toll free number is 855 450 free we have skype skype on into the show and username lrn.fm you're tuned to free talk live Question, could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at FFF at FFF.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's FFF at FFF.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. 
You can get what you need at the same prices with free Super Saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Phone records, financial and location data, Prism, Tempora, X Keyscore, Boundless Informant. Hey, y'all, Scott Horton here for offnow.org. Now, here's the deal. Due to the Snowden revelations, we have a great opportunity for a short period of time to get some real rollback of the national surveillance state. Now, they're already trying to tire us by introducing fake reforms in the Congress. And the courts, they betrayed their sworn oaths to the Constitution and Bill of Rights again and again and can in no way be trusted to stop the abuses for us. We've got to do it ourselves. How? We nullify it at the state level. It's still not easy, but the Off Now project of the 10th Amendment Center has gotten off to a great start. I mean it. There's real reason to be optimistic here. They've gotten their model legislation introduced all over the place. In state after state, I've lost count, more than a dozen. You're always wondering, yeah, but what can we do? Here's something, something important, something that can work if we do the work. Get started cutting off the NSA support in your state. Go to offnow.org. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. Just dial in toll-free. We're talking about the proposal to restrict... The world's population, some know-it-all in Wired Magazine, has determined that he knows best how this should be done, and he's, uh, you know, would like to propose that it be forced on all of us, and you know, per- perhaps prevent you from being able to have children, or at the very least, make it more difficult, make you have to jump through hoops, make you have to subvert yourself before some sort of government bureaucrat or board of bureaucrats in order to gain their uh, their permission, their 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 deigning. Of your ability to have children, and, and that's the proposal here. The great illusion here that that is at the the bedrock of this proposed agency and every other kind of state solution is that there are simple common sense things that we can all agree on that will 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 just go with that. We'll start with that maybe things like um, violent people. You know, if you're violent, then you can't have children you've you you're violent but you immediately run into problems trying to sort out the violent from the nonviolent because all the because any situation you get yourself into is too complex and these government bureaucracies will never be capable of sorting out the good from the bad well right i mean uh, mark was involved in an instance of violence when he was a teenager at age 17 it's true and uh you know maybe people change over time mark has managed to have a son he's now six is that right six that's right jack six yeah uh, jack is six years old and uh mark has not harmed jack he has not been a danger uh toward toward jack and that's not to say that Jack hasn't attempted to provoke uh, Mark into being upset at him for various things. But they that's seem what six-year-olds do best. They seem to get along pretty well when I see them, at least. And uh, so, again, you know, just chopping off someone's ability to have a child because they had some sort of violent incident. Again, this that raises the question, who decides? Who is it that gets it'll to— be some, It'll be some unelected functionary— that we'll have to that we'll have to decide because in all these bureaucracies the language that is the law of the land is too confusing to to have a an answer that comes just from the words in the instruction manual mm-hmm. and some man has to interpret it some person has to interpret it and that's well and, that person will be interpreting based on statutes or code that will be written by other bureaucrats. Uh-huh. So that person will be interpreting other person, you know, people's intentions, and so their original intentions may not be the intentions of the interpreter. And then ultimately, those words will be interpreted when those things are challenged in court by other men and women wearing robes, who will determine what that ultimately means. Which, of course, can then be reinterpreted later by other men and women who have taken the job of wearing the robes. So none of it really will ultimately flesh out in the way that uh, the original creators intend. Well, let's um, look. For instance, my wife uh, used to work for the state of Florida. She worked at the vo- vocational rehabilitation uh, sector, which meant that people that were, uh, you know, hurt, she did things to sort of get them back to work you know if you're poor you need glasses to work uh, she gets you some glasses that kind of thing mm-hmm. um 
you know, she worked there for, I think, 18 months, two years, some number like that. And then we moved up here to New Hampshire. And she quit at, like, the end of August to, to move up here. And she, at that point in August, she had already reached her goal of people that she was supposed to help that year and had extra mm. people, extra files so that were like half done and things like that. She had already reached her goal, had some completed files, and then had some half done files. The boss, in order to spruce up the numbers of the other people in her department, took these files and ha- took her files, the completed ones and the half completed ones, and passed them out to other employees that just had to do them that weren't going to reach their numbers that year. Mm-hmm. Somehow these people couldn't do the, the simple job. This is the inefficiency that just sort of is brought about by the system. These people, they're college educated, every single one of them, they had to be to do this job. Mm. They, they couldn't do it. They weren't doing it. They missed their numbers. And I, I can't imagine that this organization is going to be run any better. Do we need this kind of overhead in society on uh, you know breeding? Well, I don't know, but whatever in a, uh, whatever organization you're a part of, there's just sometimes where you need focus and you're feeling fatigued and you're trying to get that extra edge when it counts. Check out Modafinil from modup.net. Whether you're a student, study show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer offering multiple benefits, including double-digit increases in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall, so you can get things done. Plus, businessmen around the world are talking about Modafinil from modup.net and how it's making the difference in their work and giving them the critical edge that they need. Now, at modup.net, they provide the highest premium quality Modafinil with the best potency, so you enjoy significant results. That's why they're the number one sponsor of Reddit's third-party nootropic testing project. Now, remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and modup.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. So go to modup.net and place your order there when you're ready and you're ready to feel like you know enough about modafinil. Modup.net has it, and you can get a heck of a discount if you pay with Bitcoin. 33% off. Plus, use our code FTL and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order, whether you pay with Bitcoin or not. So again, that's code FTL at modup.net for world-class service at a great price for modafinil. M-O-D-U-P, modup.net, code FTL. As we continue, uh, your calls are welcome. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Coming up, uh, an exclusive story posted at freekeen.com outlines some what for some people will be shocking news about a Free State Project participant who has now been alleged to have been one of the administrators of the Silk Road. We've got the details on that on the way here tonight. And Johnny Ray's Game of the Week, all that's still coming up. Your call's welcome, 855-450-FREE, especially if you're a population control advocate. If you're somebody who is listening to Mark share this Wired magazine piece from the UK where someone is seriously suggesting that some sort of agency... And at first it sounds like maybe the government, but then you said, Mark, maybe he's suggesting the World Health Organization. I think that might have been whereabouts we left off. Uh, do you want to continue well, the story? Well, after that, we'd uh, talked about the piece of technology that he had uh, suggested. Oh, yeah, that, some kind of chip that you could turn on and off people's ability to reproduce. Yeah, the government chipping all young people uh, essentially to be able to control their uh, breeding ability through this you know, chip mm-hmm. that controls their hormones or something. He says, the approximate 10,000 starving child deaths a day, um, all of which point to the fact that well over 50 million kids have died due to hunger and malnutrition over the last 30 years. That's a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. What's more, 15% of kids in the U.S., the supposed wealthiest country in the world, suffer from hunger. A large portion of them are born to families that don't have resources to properly raise a child. After all, if you can't feed a child, you probably shouldn't have one. Licensing would have restricted many of those births until parents were more able to deal with the challenges of procreation, which is undoubtedly the most intense and serious long-term responsibility most human beings will ever be faced with in their lives. Okay. So, you know, he's pointing out that this hard work. Having humans is uh, it it's has sense. consequences, yep. and that it's not easy to do. And I wouldn't I wouldn't disagree with any of those statements. No doubt. That's why I got a vasectomy at age twenty two. He or says, as, as a liberty loving person, I have always eschewed giving up any freedoms. <laughs> However, in some cases, the statistics are overwhelming. That this guy's liberty loving, and he's proposing forced chipping of people. 
given the coming era of indefinite lifespans and transhumous technology, we must remain open-minded to consider how best to move the species forward to produce the happiest and healthiest children for the planet. Anything less would leave us with millions of preventable deaths and uncalculable uh, suffering of innocent kids. We simply need to move out and conquer the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, I think that's Johnny coming. Ray. It is coming, probably some. Not maybe not within our lifetimes, but who knows? Download who knows? yourself into a machine and put that machine into a rocket and blast off. Yeah, I kind of wonder when you think about like he's talking about the transhumanist world requiring uh, a limit of births, but the fact is is that if you can download consciousness into a machine and we don't really have much of a definition for what conf consciousness is mm -mm. we really don't know and if it's separatable from a brain or not we know that people have died and come back but we don't know sort of what makes consciousness consciousness now if you can separate the consciousness from a brain then at that point you can just store a whole bunch of people on a computer you don't need a bunch of space we will come back with more here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Yeah, but some people may not want to be stored on a computer. What of the it's everlasting? Free Talk Live. We're coming up. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. Policy issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. It takes a lot of courage to face your own death, but I'm glad I finally did. See, I was putting off getting life insurance to protect my family, even though I knew it was important. Then my neighbor's husband died. I watched her struggle emotionally and financially. It really made me face reality. If my husband died, how would I pay the mortgage, the car payments, or keep up the life the kids and I had? I realized I needed to get us life insurance right away. So I called AIG Direct. In less than five minutes, I had a quote. I was shocked at how affordable it is. Just $14 a month for $250,000 of term life coverage. I feel so much better knowing my family has protection. Call AIG Direct right now for a free no-obligation quote. The call takes less than five minutes, and you can save up to 70%. Call now, 1-800-463-7479. That's 1-800-463-7479. 1-800-463-7479. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. Hey! That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. 
This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control. Toll free. 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. We've got a Facebook and a Google Plus and Twitter, all that stuff. You can go and connect with it over at news.freetalklive.com. Something else you can connect with is a free pound of coffee. I am enjoying BuzzBox Coffee as we speak. Oh, that's right. You've got the new coffee maker set up here now. It is delicious. As a matter of fact, um, coffee.freetalklive.com for you to go get a free pound of the best of the best coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica beans. And that organic certification, it can be important if you consider for a second that coffee is grown in countries that may not uh, you know, have the same rules as far as pesticide goes. Or that, um, you know, for instance, allow leaded gas. Now, I don't know exactly what happens with uh, coffee plants that are grown in ground that has lead in it because people are using leaded gas. But it doesn't sound great to me. <laughs> so go check it out. Get your free pound at coffee.freetalklive.com every time you do. For every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we are able to give another microloan to another family to help give them the hand up that they need in order to live a better life. You got to have a little bit of money to experience human freedom. Otherwise, you're just a slave to somebody else. Help them out by helping us by going through coffee.freetalklive.com. Get your free pound, sign up for the subscription. You can cancel at any time, but please keep it going because you drink coffee and people would love to would love you to give them a hand up. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Let's go to the phones. We're talking about overpopulation, or at least that's the claim by some people, and some would like to restrict your ability to have a baby that they say you need to have a license. You'll have to ask some sort of government bureaucracy for permission. And wondering if anyone supports that idea out there. Because uh, apparently Wired Magazine thought it was worth writing about. Demetrius is in New York. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello there. Hey Demetrius. Guys, can you hear me? Hey, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Sure. Uh, I'm not saying we should restrict human growth necessarily. But I am of the opinion that overpopulation is a big problem. What's okay. the biggest problem? I haven't been listening to the show. Okay. What's the biggest sorry, uh, problem with the overpopulation in your mind? Limited resources. Just food, the... water, energy. I mean, is it lots food, of people water, when energy? they talk about overpopulation, they try to carry the conversation over to space and how much space we have. And that's true. We have lots of space. We don't have a lot of resources. Which one is it? Food, water, or energy? Do you think is the biggest problem? Um, probably energy. Okay. Now, don't you think point. that we're having inno innovations are going on all the time, and that need drives innovation as opposed to, um, you know, just kind of fantastic ideas, right? Like people need something. That's the necessity is the mother of invention. I've heard it uh, heard it said. So if if, I agree. if we need new sources of energy, we probably will get new sources of energy, right? Well, you know, we, we really need a breakthrough in either food production, recycling, or some kind of new form of energy. We make enough food on and this planet. To, happens, we make enough food on this planet to feed everybody. It's just we, we do for now. But but it's the it's the allocation of that food usually having to do with governments um, restricting the allocation of food that's the problem. By the way, I'd like to just throw I'm in here. I'm not saying a little more freedom wouldn't help, but, I mean, the way things are now, it's not going too well. I mean, we're running out of fresh water, food. I mean, even in the United States, we've got states. And we're mm -hmm. supposed to be, like, 
the best country, Demetrius, America. Uh, keep in mind, there's no shortage of water out there. The problem is that governments are in charge well, right, right, right. of but delivering of water. water. We need fresh water. Governments are right. in charge of, of finding and delivering water to people in most places. It's governments who handle that, and they do a very poor job of it. Rather than having the economic incentive to develop new means of desalination or to go and find new areas, you know, springs and things like that, they just decide, well, we're going to put down restrictions on when you can use the water that we are already giving you. you well, know, they, it's the backwards view on how to do business. Don't forget most of the water problems we have is based on uh, sort of this uh, cultural norm we have of growing, uh, gra being grass farmers, growing in our mm. front lawn this uh, worthless stuff that does nothing. <laughs> um, and if there were you know, if companies allocated water rather than governments, if if organizations like businesses as opposed to organizations like government allocated water, you wouldn't see the problem. A uh, couple more points I'd like well, to make. I'm not saying like competition would make things a little bit better, probably. But it doesn't change the fact that right now, even in the United States, we're having water problems. And we're supposed to, like... Well, I'm not having a water problem. We're supposed to have everything we I've need. i all the water I need. The problem is, is that people... Hey, you do in New Hampshire with your well. Yes, I do. You know, people... Yeah. Elsewhere, don't. But, but that's really the it's problem the is, is that problem. governments get involved in, in – in, in, they get in the way, and now there's a bunch of people living where they shouldn't be, in deserts in California mm. and uh, Nevada and stuff like that, and they expect – Water. That water has to be taken away from people who, you know, have it in their region. So you've got these population centers in arid climates, and it doesn't make any sense. Well, New Orleans had plenty of well, water. Do you recently. think the planet can support like just as many people as we can produce eventually? I don't, I don't know. Think okay, so obviously the answer to that is no. So now we are on. Um, now we're on an equal playing field. No, it cannot produce. Um, you know, sustain ten times the population we have currently. But what we've been finding is is that as people move from rural areas and uh, agricultural lifestyles into urban areas and sort of worker lifestyles, they have fewer children because children become a liability in that situation rather than an asset, right? Right. So as the – as the planet, just as the United States moved from agrarian to urban um, and suburban, um, as the planet moves this way with advances in farming technology and, you know, one guy can grow a lot more than he used to. Mm -hmm. And you will find that families aren't going to have these, you know, all these kids like they did before. And if I suggest, I, I um, humbly suggest the government get the hell out of welfare and handing out money and incentivizing people to have children financially. And then you will find that, you know, you let the population continue to urbanize and you stop incentivizing births and then you've got your problem solved. Okay, but wait a minute, Mark. I have to say that I think that the world could hold 10 times the population. You said that it couldn't. We haven't even talked about vertical farming, right? I mean, the uh, the old method of farming involves spreading out the farm over a flat surface, over a long direction, uh, and, and you know, a couple different directions. And uh, they don't even, they usually factor in vertical upwards, uh, you know, the up and down axis. And that opens Lab up a whole new meat's world. coming too. That right. That opens up a whole new world of possibility for yield per cubic foot, uh, basically that doesn't exist today. You factor in, you know, the fact there's plenty of damn water around. There's just the whole desalination thing that needs to to get solved there. And then uh, energy. Of course, the history of mankind has been learning about and tapping into new forms of energy they've always been there just we just now discover oh wow you can turn that black stuff that used to pollute farmland into burnable useful material how about that you know of course one of the classic examples is oil used to be a pollutant and a nuisance and then eventually it became called black gold because it was so valuable for energy purposes once people figured out what the hell do you do with that stuff and so we'll figure out more of that, uh, more of those revelations about energy. We'll, you know, make those uh, discoveries. And I don't think we'll have a problem with any of those things, energy, food, or water, personally. But, Johnny Ray, you've sort of been absorbing all this. I was just thinking about what you said about this vertical farming, and I see a big problem there, which is the shade. You know, you, the farming is done under the sun, and if you start stacking stuff on top of your you start stacking fields on Lights. top of each other. This is not the easy solution that uh, you make it out to be. I'm not saying it would be an easy solution. Everybody's going to drink Soylent. 
Have you heard of this new stuff? It's uh, got all your nutritional uh, you know, needs in it. Didn't they make a movie about that? Not uh, yeah, yeah, they made a movie about this product that just came out in 1970, <laughs> you dullard. Um, no, this is a new product named after the movie. Which was, wasn't that People? It's not People. I swear, it's not People. But wasn't that, I've never seen the movie. I just always That's heard the, the line. the only line you know. Right. <laughs> yes, what? Soylent isn't Green Soylent was Green People. Was? This is not Soylent, not Soylent Green. Green. It's just Soylent. It's Soylent. Okay. And it's just a product. So they took the people out of it. Yeah, it's a nutritional product that uh, <laughs> you no longer have to eat food. You can have this stuff. It's much it's more cats, efficient, isn't it? It's much more efficient than any other, uh, you know, way of feeding people. Every citizen's final duty is to go to the recycling tanks. <laughs> <laughs> Demetrius, any final thoughts? Go ahead. I mean, uh, give me a you know, once we have some. I'll be right there with you. You know. Once we have some what? Once we get a breakthrough going somewhere, you know, either energy, get water from salt water, or well, we can do all you those know, things. more food production, I think Anything's we'll be okay. Anything's possible if you put your mind to it, Demetrius. Thanks for the call. Maybe not you, but the people who are interested in finding out how to do all those things, they'll figure it out. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Just get the government out of the way. It's always the problem. Hour number three coming up. We'll give you the latest on the story about the Silk Road. The saga continues. It's Free Talk Live. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, August 19th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,299, silver opened at $19.64, and Bitcoin is trading around $476.56. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online at rrbi.co or by phone 800-874-9760. In the news, on Monday, President Obama announced that Attorney General Eric Holder would be going to Ferguson, Missouri to work with local officials as violence between protesters and police has continued since the August 9th shooting of Michael Brown. In the early hours of Monday, Missouri Governor Jane Nixon called the National Guard to the community to restore peace and order. Governor Nixon also ended a curfew that had been in effect for several days. The family of Michael Brown has called for Officer Darren Wilson to be charged following the release of an independent autopsy that confirmed Brown had been shot by Wilson at least six times. 
a chemical found in Colgate Total toothpaste has been linked to cancer. The FDA knew about the chemical, triclosan, which is used to fight plaque and gingivitis, before approving the toothpaste, and they relied on Colgate's own scientific evaluations to approve use. Now, I caught up with Jessica Armand, creator of My Magic Mud, an all-natural alternative to toothpaste. She stated that she's not surprised that the FDA would approve such a harmful ingredient. Now, Jessica also said that FDA approval should caution consumers rather than put them at ease. An investigation by Bloomberg found the FDA was in fact aware of research linking the chemical to cancer in animals. Consumers are advised to begin removing all products that use triclosan from their household. Texans for Accountable Government is an Austin-based activist group working to advance the cause of liberty. TAG's message of humanizing, harmonizing, and localizing police activism resonates with Texans now more than ever. TAG's sixth anniversary party is Monday, August 25th at Sherlock's Pub and Grill on the corner of 183 and Burnett Road in North Austin. The party begins at 7 p.m. with complimentary appetizers, drinks, and live music. Awards for TAG's 2014 Activist of the Year and People's Champion will be presented. Proceeds will provide the resources needed to positively affect the upcoming Austin City Council election and Texas 84th Legislative Session, which begins in less than five months. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It. Live Sunday afternoons at 4 on 1370 AM in Austin. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, August 19th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Environmentalists attempting to fight a pipeline carrying tar sands crude oil were dealt a blow Monday when a federal district judge rejected their legal challenge. U.S. District Judge Katanji Brown Jackson stated that Flanagan South Pipeline could proceed without further environmental study. Upon completion, the pipeline will carry tar sands from Pontiac, Illinois to Cushing, Oklahoma. Judge Jackson ruled that the FS pipeline was being constructed by a private company on land that is mostly privately owned, and so the federal government did not have jurisdiction to regulate or oversee the construction of a domestic oil pipeline. The Sierra Club and National Wildlife Federation have called for further study of the proposed pipelines. Nearly one in five American voters do not believe that members of Congress deserve re-election. The numbers come from a recent Gallup poll that found only 19% of voters in the United States would bring their representatives back. Now that's the lowest number since 1992. Frank Newport of Gallup said Americans are evaluating representatives and the institution of government itself on its collective inability to get much done. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show. With a focus on all things topical and liberty-oriented, Corey Moore and his band of co-hosts, including me, keep a sense of humor while attacking the state. The Corey Moore Show is live each Friday night at 9 o'clock Central Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Time at CoreyMooreShow.com and LRN. FM. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, August 19th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Shoppers at a Hannaford supermarket could only speculate that the middle-aged woman angrily demanding a price check on a pack of rice pudding was once a carefree youth. I don't care what it says on your screen. You know, this is why people go to the store across the street, because of the way they're treated here. You know, nobody likes it here. Those watching the woman angrily asking for a manager over a $1.20 price difference imagined that the woman was once a fresh-faced college graduate, too spirited and fun-loving to throw a bitter tantrum in front of a room of complete strangers. She was probably once just some freewheeling college graduate kid, you know? Her biggest concern was which one of her friends she was going to hang out with at night and whether they were going to meet at the movies or a bonfire on the beach. Now look at her. You know, I'll bet if you'd have told her 10 or 15 years ago that one day she'd be ripping into a grocery store clerk with a room full of strangers staring at her, she'd have been horrified. It's sad. In other news, a few years in the military would have really straightened out a troubled teen killed in Afghanistan, and a man on the verge of self-realization instead turns to God. This is the Onion News Network. This is 
Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. As always, so much to talk about here tonight. How much of it we'll actually get to uh, in the next hour is another question. I know we still have Johnny Ray's Game of the Week on the way tonight. Plus, breaking news, an exclusive story over at freekeen.com about a Free State Project participant who has alleged to have been one of the operators of the Silk Road. Would love to tell you that story. And then we just got into this discussion about this Soylent stuff, which, I don't know, I'd seen the name somewhere and just blew it off as a joke. Uh, But apparently there really are people out there marketing some sort of a product called Soylent that is purporting to replace all meals. For, uh, for human beings. It <laughs> I, seems to be real. This, this has is... been on my radar for months, and I'm just amused that you're just now sort of discovering, this is outrageous. It's, well, I'm not saying it's outrageous. I'm the man who eat this crap that I put in frozen boxes in my refrigerator. <laughs> I'm outraged that people would want their food delivered to them in some kind of, you know, uh, more efficient fashion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is, I don't know. I mean, this barely qualifies as food. I mean, it, it reminds That's me That's what of, you eat, stuff that barely qualifies me, as food. Oh, well, I understand, Mark. You are this fancy eater, and you get your local vor stuff, and, and that's fine. Uh, but I'm sorry. I'll take uh, microwave food over some sort of sludge, some <laughs> sort of nutrition sludge. The any, nutrition sludge is good for day. you. Well, that's your allegation. I don't know. We don't. Nobody really knows if that's true or not. It's right? open sourced, right? People, you know, nutritionists had a chance to take a look and decide what. Why would they make it bad for you, Mark? I don't know what's good or bad. You know how, like, one year eggs are good, then the next year eggs are bad. So I don't really know. I'm not going to go out on a limb and say that I know anything. If you want to claim to be the, you know, the health guru here, you're welcome to do that. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and I'd love to get more into that. There's actually a great story over at vice.com about somebody who apparently tried this stuff out and uh, tried to live for 30 days without eating anything at all. Does Soylent have more science behind it than SlimFast? Aren't SlimFast shakes meal replacements? Yeah, what's the difference? I think that what SlimFasts are palatable. Tommy Lasorda endorsed SlimFast. (laughs) He sure did. (laughs) I think that uh, Soylent is intended to be... Um, just a meal. It's it's just intended to be regular food. SlimFast mm-hmm. is intended to be a meal replacement for one meal. Occasional, you see. know, one one meal a day. Replace that in order to help you slim down. The Soylent people are saying you literally can replace all food with this product. The bodybuilders will take um, you know protein shakes in order to, and they usually won't skip meals, but they'll augment their uh, their intake with these, and that's you know cool. But this is the only product as I understand, designed specifically to replace meals. I'm not saying you couldn't live on Slim Fast Shakes. I don't know. All right, well, look. if they took, if if somebody took uh, four McChickens, two McDoubles, uh, uh, iced coffees, and put that into a blender, mm-hmm. and that's basically what I'm, what my, my <laughs> diet every day. See? Wait, don't you drink a gallon of milk every day? I, yeah, I do. So throw I, that into the blender while you're Right, put it. that in there too. Hey, and well, every week I'll have a side salad. I want to go to Alex. He's in Tampa. You're on Free Talk Live. Alex, how are you listening tonight? Hey, those people. Yeah. How are uh, you listening I to the show tonight, video Alex? Via uh, Tudor. Okay, great. What's on your mind? Uh, you guys were talking about basically feeding uh, 70 billion people, uh, and the topic was brought up, uh, vertical growing, which would not be a viable solution to, uh, you know, it, it just, it's, it, it's too expensive, which would lead to higher food well, wait prices a minute. in just the grocery store. Just because it's expensive it, now doesn't mean it would be expensive in the future with development and it, refinement it, and competition. It, so it's much more expensive than dropping a seed in dirt and putting water on it. You know, you have to buy all the equipment, then you have to feed it nutrient, which is liquid based, and all that costs. Hey, money. Alex, I don't know so what the what has happened, doing. but there has been a dramatic difference during your call. In the beginning, you sounded kind of muted. Then you sounded clear. Now you sound muted again. I don't know if you're talking directly into your phone. Um, yeah, hang on one second. Let me, let me look at my mic call real quick. A lot of times, uh, if people are calling on like a Bluetooth device or one of those headsets, they just don't sound as good as just talking on the phone, just holding the phone up to your. I don't know yeah. if that's what you were dealing with, it, Alex. But 
No, no. I, I had a little piece of dust in my, my call. I got a phone call, uh, case on my phone. I think I had some dust in there. All right. Well, anyway, go ahead um, with your thoughts. So you're saying too expensive for vertical uh, vertical food, vertical growing. Yeah, well, it, it's very expensive, which would lead to higher prices in the grocery store. And, and at, the, at the same time, what you would end up uh, doing is pushing the little guy out, which is are the people we want grow. We want the people that take the you know, the little farmer that puts more care into his product, and you would push him out and bring the major people in, which are going to push GMO and, and everything they could do to just make a profit on it because of the price. I'm with it's, you uh, 100% on growing. this one. I've had this conversation with Ian over and over again. He read himself an article on the interwebs about vertical farming, and uh, you know he was certain that it's going to be the way of the future, and it may very well be. In the same time we finally get those flying cars that they promised us, maybe mm -hmm. we'll have vertical farming. But I really don't think that vertical farming's where it's at. I think that likely that we'll you'll be better off. You'll get better food produced closer to you, um, and you know people's dietary changes changes can really make a difference in this too if we'd stop uh, relying on uh, cheap carbs you know like wheats and 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 corn and things like that and go for uh, stuff like leafy greens and uh, animal products then i think we'd be better off yeah, or we'll just have chan 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 replicators you know you just get I have no idea what that is i don't really either mark but is it an oriental man no no the idea is chan being carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen that's sort of like on a, the planet <laughs> You just take that and shovel it into a in, into a a, rep, a food replicator. It would be really interesting if we could get this, you know, these these three you different food dirt into it these or three trash. different food products that we could then uh, you know shove into these little machines that would create anything you wanted to eat and it would taste like it, like they had on Star Trek with the food replicator. That'd be awesome. But until then, I think we're looking at uh, you know I think the best way to do it is try to get food from your locally sourced from your your farms nearby. Well, really, the only vertical growers you're going to see at this point in time are your very, very small local guys that have a very small stand at your local market. Um, and it's becoming popular, but it is expensive because, I mean, it requires it requires all kind of pumps, all kind of nutrient solutions, and, you know, it, it, the, the casing just to, to plant the growth. And, you know, if you're growing larger things like watermelon, tomatoes, you know, plants that get to any kind of size of a vertical system is really, really going to take up a lot of space. It's and, not going to make um, any sense at all. You know, at the same time, it'll save you space, but it still takes up quite a bit of space. And it, the, the price and the cost is just very, very high at this right. point. Alex, thanks for the call and tonight, man. I appreciate hearing way. from you. You might want to have your phone looked at. I don't know what's going on with it, but I appreciate the call. I know it outrages uh, you. Tonight. He's, uh, he brings up very good points, though. And... You could. That's not a good point to say that it's too expensive. I mean, we all know that technology becomes cheaper over time with development and competition. So, I mean, that's like saying, well, we, we'll never have uh, flat plasma and LCD TVs. Uh, the average person will never be able to afford that. Sorry, the price comes down as things get more popular. The different yeah, things yeah, with... and then, like the horror stories about peak oil. Those are all based on a snapshot of right now, the technology we have mm. and the current supply and demand situation. But that that whole that it changes every day and the and and as um, as oil gets more expensive, then you know solar can there's can, an can to, jump in yeah, to develop new uh, forms of energy and to tap into uh, you know forms of energy we didn't know existed before. I think that a lot of this this fear around over so-called overpopulation comes from a lack mentality, and we've heard it mentioned uh, in an earlier call here tonight, and that is the mentality that we're gonna run out. And it's okay to be concerned about supply if you are actually appearing to run out of something. And that's, you know, obviously some of the things that can start to really motivate people to look into alternatives and to look into alternate sources and solutions and things like that. But the human uh, human ability to engineer and for ingenuity has really gotten us through some tough situations and where we have found those new sources and those new supplies of food. And, this is and one energy. of the reasons I don't get bent out of shape about GMO foods. I think we do need to have have, uh, you know, we need to try new stuff in the area of food. Um, I'm not frightened of Franken food. I do have a real problem with pesticides and herbicides being sprayed on uh, plants in an abundance and those things running off into water supplies and killing off uh, fish and, and plant life in the water. Toll free number tonight is 855 450 free. You can take control of the airwaves. This is Free Talk Live. 
Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Take control right here, toll free at 855-450-FREE. We told you we were going to tell you how to get... Bitcoin, and also how to get Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, and Darkcoin. Go to ExpressCoin.com, and you can order with uh, you can order with money order, check, wire transfer, and also pay with cash at uh, various different institutions that have what's called shared branching. 
uh, sort of the uh, the community banks or whatever they're called. What are those things credit called? Unions. Credit unions. Thank you. It's credit unions. Good. I need to write that down because I always forget. Real professional. Yep. Uh, Expresscoin.com. You can go there. And even if you're in Canada, they're now doing business in Canada at Expresscoin.com. Get your cryptocurrencies and you get them there cheaper than I've ever seen anywhere else. In fact, if you use coupon code FTL, you'll get forty up to $40 worth of Bitcoin for no transfer fee. That is amazing. Expresscoin. Dot com. Don't forget coupon code FTL for the special deal. As we go to Charles, he's listening in West Virginia to WVTS. Hello, Charles. Hello, guys. Hey, go ahead with your uh, thoughts. A couple of points. Uh, <laughs> several years ago, there was a movie came out uh, called uh, uh, mm-hmm. I brought it this little way. It's got to do with the... <laughs> It's what? Uh, what's the food, what was the disgusting food you was talking about? And I'll think so, of it. Soylent Green? Uh, Soylent Green was about uh, food that was made so made out of people, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, another thing, these, uh, oh my Lord, uh, genetic engineered foods and stuff, GMOs. Uh, if you delve into that, I never had. I've been a farmer for a long, 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 long time. Uh, FFA4H and all that. And uh, when they was talking about, uh, I thought they was talking about uh, genetic organized, uh, genetically modified, we genetically modified stuff for hundreds of years. Sure. Uh, Cross pollination. But this is a whole different. Yes, this is a whole different thing, though. This it's scary once you get into it. Uh, I hadn't heard anything about it till I uh, heard a guy named Jeffrey Smith. One night on a show called uh, Coast to Coast Radio, uh, you may have heard of George Nori. Yeah, we actually somebody called in about this character. He's one of the uh, primary opponents of genetically modified foods, and I remember we looked into him one night, and he himself is a pretty scary dude, if I'm recalling correctly. And you know, I don't necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily believe anything that guy says either. I mean, I, it's hard to know who to really believe in these uh, these conversations. You gotta delve further and uh, check out uh, different people. Don't just take one's word for it. Yep. But delve into it. Do you want to eat anything that Roundup won't kill? Glyphosate, glyphosate. Uh, you know, I, 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 I hear where you're coming from. Um, I find it uh, disturbing that uh, plants can can handle Roundup and that kind of thing, but. I, it, admittedly, you have to admit that there are lots of people around the world eating this stuff, and they seem to be surviving. Well, for how long, though? I, we don't I know the answer that, to that, but uh, one would assume that a certain amount of testing's been done. Odds humans are, good. are humans are living longer now than they ever have before. Well, at the very least, they're gonna ex- they're gonna survive long enough to get through the hunger, right? Like if they're hungry and starving to death, then they're probably not gonna last as long as if they're eating genetically modified foods. If that's what if that's what they have to choose between are these sort of scary foods that are untested and no food, I think that the choice is pretty clear. I'll go with they've the scary tested, foods. Hmm? They've been tested on animals, and uh, results from animal testing, people feeding one half of their herd uh, genetically modified, the other half of their herds or swine uh, flock, uh, the birth rate goes way down. Under, the weight is way down on the genetically modified. Uh, it's really, uh, <laughs> I'd rather eat out of the ground. I, well, there you go. I mean, you can always choose another option. Luckily, you know, you're in the United States where there are usually several different choices. You've got the organic uh, option, which, of course, you know, you're going to pay more for, but people feel better about. So you should eat the food that uh, that makes you feel good. And, Charles, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE to our one of our newest weekday affiliates, uh, WVFT, there in Tallahassee. You're on Free Talk Live. Greg. It's Gretna, at Tallahassee, but uh, thank you for the mention. Freedom ninety three point three. This actually came GMOs came up on the ballot in Washington State, and it literally became a confrontation between the farm to table movement and the vegan movement. Because I mentioned at the time, if this genetically modified ballot initiative passed, the big loser is Morningstar Farms, a division of Kellogg that produces the veggie sausage, veggie bacon, veggie chicken, etc. What about them? 
that Morningstar Farms, they create the vegan equivalent of meat. The vegan equivalent you know, the of vegan, meat? Yeah. Exactly. The uh-huh. vegan bacon, the vegan sausage, the vegan meatballs. What, what about them? I'm sorry. I missed your point about what about that Morningstar was, Farms. That was, they, they have to use genetically modified food, and that's, of course, a big corporate entity called Kellogg's. Why do they have to use it? Probably to get the meat-like consistency. Yes, and to get the and to get the meat-like flavor. Well, can't they just use regular corn or regular wheat? I mean, is, there's not that there's not supposed to be any difference. Well, like I said, the the wisecrack I used for the uh, farm to table movement is: if everyone cares about where their food comes from, then why has there never been a documentary of a pig, chicken, or cow's eye view at the slaughterhouse? I could well there believe there hasn't been. Aren't there all kinds of you know I horrible think, uh, I, graphic only, documentaries about slaughterhouses? The only the only one I remember the last one I remember was Food uh, of the Nation. Okay, Bad so Food Nation. just to clarify, you're making the claim, and we don't know if this is true or not. Obviously, but you're making the claim that Morningstar Farms products are genetically modified foods. Absolutely, because. And do, do vegans know that? Replic- they have, well, it's clearly written, clearly on the package. I don't, I don't spend a lot we're of time on the, in, the front of the package in this literature. But isn't most of what we eat and get from the supermarket? Isn't it mostly GMO food? Well, especially Here the in things America. in the center aisles. Um, when you're talking about, uh, yeah, it's it's mostly going to be grains, grains, like corn. Oh, you and, dropped off the line. Thanks for the call. Things like that, corn, okay. wheat, things like that. Well, I could well believe that. I could, I could easily believe that. Morningstar Farms requires genetically modified food in order to get that meat-like uh, um, presentation and effect. I don't think there's much difference. I think I think if that's true, that they're using genetically modified foods to make their products, I think that probably upset a lot of their customers uh, if that was the case. But then again, I don't know. It, it just seems it does like, seem like a customer base that would be sensitive to that. Yeah, like that the just vegans leaves, are real cautious about what they eat, just right? leaves another opening in the marketplace for, for that. Um, a lot of time, vegans are about... Whether or not the animal is harmed, Mm -hmm. they're not about necessarily, um, you know, what anything beyond that. A lot of times they're animal rights activists, not Not, necessarily health nuts. I think that's that's their primary um, motivation is to humanely treat their fellow travelers on planet Earth, the animals. All right. We will come back with more. You can take control of the airwaves. The toll free number is 855-450-FREE. Meat is murder. But veganism is genocide. The fact is, <laughs> those farm animals wouldn't exist if people didn't eat them. 855-450-3733. We've got plenty of time for you with your calls and thoughts. You just dial on in right now. This is Free Talk Live. More about population control coming up in the Silk Road as well. My Magic Mud is a tooth whitening powder that removes plaque and detoxifies your mouth. It's safe for your enamel, giving you a beautiful polish and a dentist light clean after every use. My Magic Mud is also the perfect remedy for pain caused by sensitivity. It strengthens your teeth and gums for a strong, healthy smile. The ingredients are 100% natural and it's safe for children. Simply brush with My Magic Mud right before bedtime for a cleaning you can count on. Visit MyMagicMud.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you, too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. 
Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Juicy Juice, 100% juice, providing a full serving of fruit in every four ounces. Visit us at JuicyJuice.com. When it comes to nutrition, kids need both fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy and grow. For the ideal mix, your kid should have at least one and a half cups of any veggie or 100% veggie juice and one cup of any fruit or 100% fruit juice a day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You can't win if you don't enter, and you actually can improve your chances of winning a prize drawing if you wrinkle up your entry blank. I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com, and I speak from experience. Why this works? If they'll be spinning the drum before drawing, your entry blank will move around more than, and not adhere to, other perfectly flat entry blanks. And if they don't spin the drum and merely reach into a box full of other perfectly flat entry blanks, many of which are sticking together, yours will feel different to the person reaching in. When you win, act surprised. And if you're looking for work, this is a metaphor. For more tips on sticking out in a world where just too much blends into the blah, 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 hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. Just dial on in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online at freetalklive.com. And enjoy the features that uh, we share with you over at freetalklive.com. The phone lines are brought to you by ProXPN. If you care about online privacy, you really need to go look at ProXPN at proxpn.com slash FTL. You download their free software for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices as well, and get started. In fact, if you're a Linux user, setup's a little different, but you can get it working there as well pretty easily. And then you get protection because they encrypt your internet connection, meaning, meaning your internet service provider will no longer know what you're doing online. Right now, they're probably logging every website you visit and every uh, every search term that you enter, maybe keeping those logs for, in some cases, as long as five years you can stop that from happening tonight by going to proxpn.com slash FTL and getting started there with their free software. Now, when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account, you can get unlimited bandwidth servers around the world that you can access. You can privately torrent and even get past regionally blocked websites. ProXPN also doesn't keep records of your online habits at all. And you get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Just go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use this new promo code FTL50, and that'll get you 50% off the price of an annual account there for the lifetime of the account. And that breaks the price down to about $5 per month. But if that's not cheap enough, pay with Bitcoin and use our special Bitcoin discount code FTLBTC. As FTL like Free Talk Live and then Bitcoin like BTC like Bitcoin, FTL BTC, you'll get 62% off that annual account price. So again, proxpn.com slash FTL. Go grab the software, get started, and then upgrade to premium for the, the best possible deal uh, with cash. You can use code FTL50, and with Bitcoin, use code FTL BTC for some deep discounts on those annual packages. As we continue here, we've been talking about the idea of restricting 
people's ability to uh, to procreate, which is a very disturbing concept. And I feel like there's probably more, Mark, that you want to share from the Wired magazine piece. Sure. Are you ready? Go for it. Absolutely. Let me. Sorry, here. This is a... the uh, individual who. Uh, this is a UK Wired magazine. Uh, this individual is advocating some sort of program that people would have to jump through some hoops, maybe some bureaucracy uh, to get approval to have a baby. Yeah, Zoltan Istven is a futurist, philosopher, journalist, and transhumanist. He's the author of the best-selling novel, The Transhumanist Wager. He says, as a liberty-loving person, I've always eschewed giving up any freedoms. However, in some cases, the st statistics are so overwhelming that... At the very least, given the common era of indefinite lifespans and transhumanist technology, we must remain open-minded to consider how best to move the species forward, to produce the happiest and healthiest children for the planet. Anything less would leave us with millions more preventable deaths and incalculable suffering of innocent kids. So he keeps on trotting out, kids are dying of malnutrition mm. around the world. Hey, kids are dying of malnutrition around the world. Look at the kids dying of malnutrition around the world. Let's implement a program where we stop this. Here's a little surprise for you, With Zoltan. With violence, right? This program isn't going to get instituted in the. I mean, in the United States, there are very <laughs> few people dying of hunger. Well, I the, think he wants to turn to the UN or something, right? There, you're going to have to the, these the, these countries where the, this is occurring. They want soldiers. They don't. You know, they're not going to want to see the. Uh, population decreased. They're not going to want to see uh, people, you know, have birth control implemented. They want soldiers so they can have them fight in their militaries. So they're going to be like, no, not here. So mm. at that point, you have the choice, Zoltan, of either going in there and blowing up their leaders and destroying their countries and trying to implement your little program. Take a look at Iraq if you want to see how well that goes. Yeah. Or you can leave it alone and forget about it. Well, they just cut off um, a man's head uh, the other day uh, because of the attacks against Iraq, as a matter of fact. The bombings Recent that are going bombing. on currently? Yeah. So, yeah, so ISIS had a uh, reporter, right? Allegedly, ISIS uh, had apparently had this reporter since 2012. They uh, brought him out of wherever he was being kept, so, and uh, they executed the him on HD United, video. The people that the U.S. was supporting financially with weapons and things like that yeah. actually had a U.S. prisoner— and then they That's executed right, yeah. him yeah. when the U.S. started bombing them when they were using the U.S.'s yeah. weapons and they to attack him, other people that the U.S. didn't want them to? They had him uh, give a statement, and then they executed him. I did listen to the statement. I did not watch the execution, uh, but it's in HD quality. Execution videos are not what they used to be when they used to be you know, kind of crappy, grainy cell phone quality videos. Now they may be cell phone quality, but they are HD cell phone quality and... Uh, the quality has been upgraded quite a bit, and it was horrifying enough to watch back, you know, a decade ago when it was really terrible quality. I can't even imagine how dis just disgusting this this video is. Now, I do have a news story about this. I'm going to hold off on that until tomorrow night when we really have a good chance to uh, to dig into it. But ultimately, the very end of the video ends with them showing their next prisoner. They are showing they have yet another journalist, um, ostensibly from America, and... He will be put to death next if Barack Obama doesn't do what they want him to. Well, um, it reminds me of, do uh, you remember the Schoolhouse Rock video where, I can't remember what it is, but uh, they it says if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck. You know, it's talking about how Uncle Sam is a poor judge of character, and it's got pictures of Saddam Hussein, uh, Muammar. This is definitely not a uh, one of those after-school videos. No, this was the one that was sort of made up. Yeah, you're talking about Pirates and Emperors, which Pirates is a, and Emperors sort is of a liberty-oriented play off of the old Schoolhouse Rock series. I think that the guy is actually uh, not liberty-oriented at all. But well, Pirates and Emperors definitely has a pretty freedom-oriented message. It has an anti-war, anti-interventionist message. Okay, that doesn't mean it's liberty-oriented. But yeah, I mean, I I tend to agree with you. It's uh, it's got three hundred thousand views, and it's really great. I'm going to post it up on our Facebook page. You can see it at facebook.freetalklive.com. It's always been represented to me as somebody who is a liberty-oriented person who created that. Oh, where did you hear that that wasn't the case? I don't know. Somebody. Okay. So now you've got somebody who says that it was, and I've got somebody who said it wasn't. I would suggest you look at their website to try to learn more about it, because it's a pretty neat little video, and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it to anybody. I don't hesitate to recommend it at no. all. I'm not hesitating. So I don't need somebody's pedigree. They just have to agree with me on the issue.
Yeah, so uh, in other news, Johnny Ray has himself a game of the week, apparently, this week. And I do want to get to the story about uh, the Silk Road. If we can, we'll slip that in as well. But Johnny Ray, what's the game of the week this week? It's, uh, uh, pardon me, Age of Empires 2 HD. Age of Empires 2, Age of Kings was an old game, came out in 1999. This is an old game they're re-releasing? Yeah, I it was a, it was another gift from uh from Super Sun Shady. Awesome. To he had given me he had he had sent me FTL Faster Than Light, which mm-hmm. um I don't know, it was I talked about that with Mark and Daryl. Right, I took the Tuesday night off last week. Yeah, but I think you were sitting over here in the chair. Anyway, so Age of Empires 2, Age of Kings, HD. Mm. So I've they've, only updated, gotten, they've updated it for uh, it's 15 years later. There's what There were a lot of complaints when Age of Empires 2 HD came out mm-hmm. because the there were no um, there were no high res textures. It kind of looks like a game from 1999, hmm. and the gameplay wasn't updated really at all. So it's the same game. And it's a it's a fun game. It's it's a real time. Is this a strategy. favorite of yours in the past, or is this your first time playing? This it? is my first time playing it. Okay, and it's it's a, it's an RTS like like your StarCraft or your WarCraft, um, but it's got a it's sort of in a historical milieu as best they hmm. can put it, and you're taking on the role of uh, um, I've ju- I've only gone through the tutorial, and I was playing as the Scots uh, as against the English. With, uh, They're about to declare independence if all goes well next month. Yeah, but they lost the first right. two rounds. <laughs> yeah, and I was didn't go well. Which the game did not do a very good job of te- of teaching me because by the time the tutorial was over, I thought that uh, that Scotland had won that engagement and it had won the Battle of Falkirk, but they did not. Uh, yeah, they um, uh, they would really like that to be true. <laughs> all right, let's come back with more your calls and thoughts. Certainly welcome. Also, the latest from the Silk Road. There's breaking news there. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450. Freeze the toll-free number. You take control. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. Summertime is safe big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know summer is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for summer specials, including all sizes of colloidal silver, colloidal minerals, and intestinal freedom on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia, and metabolic complex and pro-metabolic all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and wormwood plus complex plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes all on sale for summer at herbalhealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and look for summer specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. Since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Free Talk Live. Are you saying there's something wrong with a gay couple adopting children? Absolutely. What is? What could possibly be wrong about that? then the children are going to be raised by queers instead of by, uh, you know... You are homophobic, aren't you, Tom? <laughs> no. I think so. But anyway... What's wrong with them being raised by gay people? 
because gay people are unfit to raise children. Oh, How dare I, you? I object a lot. I had a friend who was adopted by uh, gay parents, uh, and he grew up just fine with completely normal values, and sure. he's a very normal, functioning member of society. I've met plenty of gay people in my time who I thought would make fantastic parents and would be far better parents than many of the white trash parents that are out there raising kids today. Tom, do you know any gay people? Uh, I try not to, but... Yeah, well, that is. figures, and you're about done. Thanks for the call. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain here. But enough time for your call and thoughts. You just have to call in now. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, it's Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. Johnny Ray is sharing with us his game of the week this week. We'll uh, jump right back into that. I want to also remind you about Keenvention. It's coming up again and, in fact, I need to get my budding gear and do some more organizing of uh, Keenvention this year. It's a little convention that I threw for the first time last year here in our very own Keene, New Hampshire. It's a great opportunity for you to come here and check out the activism scene, meet some of the very people that you hear uh, hear from and hear about on this radio program. Our main speaker, one of the main speakers, I guess the keynote speakers, is uh, going to be Rich Paul. The very same activist who is currently sitting in jail because of cannabis dealing uh, charges. And that's a, a whole other story. You can go to keenvention.info to learn more about Rich and some of the other great speakers. Mark will be hosting one of the panels about yes. news media activism. The, the uh, Keenvention is an, a great excuse to come up, check out New Hampshire, and meet people who are, again, the activists that are here. That's, that's what we focus on at Keenvention is the activists of New Hampshire, this great movement, the Free State Project, bringing people who love freedom all to the same place uh, to get active for liberty in our lifetime. Unfortunately, not all of them have made it here yet. We've got over 15,000 who are pledged. In fact, coming close to 16,000, I believe, very, very close, within striking distance of that. Last time I looked, which was a few days back, uh, the idea of bringing these activists here, well, Keenvention focuses on what are those people doing? What are some of the things in the legislative ar- arena, for instance? What about direct action? What about you know civil disobedience, creating media? We'll cover all of this stuff. In fact, you can see last year's footage. We got all of every single panel and speech. All of it's recorded. It's available free. Just go to Keenvention.info. You can see that there. And then you can order your tickets. Somebody just bought some tickets with Bitcoin uh, the other day, so... I uh, got a little bit of manual labor I have to do when people buy with Bitcoin, but it's more than worth it. It's great to be able to accept tickets in both cash uh, and Bitcoin. So credit card or Bitcoin, your choice. Go to keenvention.info. It's happening October 31st through November 2nd. And we're looking forward to uh, making, well, I'm looking forward to making more announcements about panels and speeches and things like that. Those are all coming up. So stay tuned to the Keenvention website at keenvention.info or the Keenvention Facebook page etc. Johnny Ray, you're telling us about Age of Empires 2 HD. Right. Which, this is a remake of an old 1999 game? Exactly. Okay. And I had said before that there were no high-res textures. There are no HD textures. Um, so, 
though though it is the HD edition, it's certainly not all HD. It looks like a game from that era. Mm-hmm. It's fun to play for me because, well, is it one of those things, before you go on, is it one of those things where, you know, the game back in the day had the resolution that it had, but computers only could show so much on screen. So do you see more on the screen? It's just the games using the same old textures from back in the day? Is well, that kind of how they did it? Unfortunately, I can't compare it to the to how it was back in the day because I didn't play it then. That What you say sounds like it could certainly be the case. Gotcha. Um, there's, there's, so you haven't been blown away by the graphics prowess of the, the new game? No, but it doesn't offend me either. It's gotcha. fine to look at. Are you having fun with it? I'm having fun with it so far. This is a sort of a game that appeals to me. I love these these real time strategy games. Basically, uh, Mark, you've got you're sort of like building a base, okay. which in the and you're advancing your people, be they the Scots or the French under Joan of Arc, uh, the Saracens under Saladin, or the so Mongols. We, we don't have uh, actually contemporary uh, empires here. You just sort of. Uh, you know, they take them out of time and yeah, they, toss they them play the kind of fast and loose with yeah, the fun. real with the real history. I mean, if you're going to be the Scots, you don't want to be. You know, you, you're going to want the you know, you're going to want uh, Wallace. You're going to want Rob Roy. Those are the people you're going to want to be leading you. Um, you know, if you're going to be the French, you're going to want Joan of Arc. You're going to want Vercingetorix. That's who I'm going for. Vercingetorix. If you're going to play a Native Americans, you want Tecumseh. I mean, you you don't want to settle for you know second best when it comes to these folks. Mm. If you want to be one, if you want to be the be the Celts and Vic, 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 what you said, then uh, <laughs> Civ is the game for you. Okay. Um, Vercingetorix. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going with because uh, I want to play as the Saracens. I always I read some account of the Crusades a long time ago, and this mid this romantic Arab by the name of Saladin has always intrigued me. So I'm looking forward to to getting through that. But it is the gameplay is just like it was back in 1999. Really, I I have to share what a reviewer has written about this game. Okay. He said he said there is absolutely no reason to trade money. Like that, talking about the price, and I don't know what the price was because it was gifted to me. Um, I, I I think it's probably about ten dollars, uh, but but in 2013 it was more. Um, it was first re-released, but he said there's no reason to trade money like that for a game like this for a moldy time capsule that will likely mar your memories of the original. <laughs> this time wow. history needs to be left to rest. But having quoted that and having said that i must say that i'm enjoying it i think that it's nice that older games are sort of experiencing a resurgence you've got the uh like the playstation and the xbox they have services where you can literally buy classic games for like a nintendo emulator and play them on your system as i understand it which i think is a cool thing yeah 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 a lot of of people are doing that these days it's real popular it it breathes new life into these older titles allows people from newer generations to introduce older generations or rather people from older generations to introduce newer generations to classic games without them having to have an old working nintendo sitting in the garage or something like that where you can you know just play them on the existing game systems i think that's a cool thing now is this for windows or is it for phones i I missed the the option Operating system on this Age of Empires 2 HD. It, it's it's had many iterations, including Nintendo DS. Uh, this is the version I have is on Steam, so it's for my PC. But conceivably, okay. could also be on P, on Mac and Linux. So I've got a game of the week, Johnny Ray. This one is uh, Night Trap, a classic uh, Sega CD game from back in the early 1990s. It sounds scary. It's one of the most infamous games of all time. It was Night Trap and Mortal Kombat were the two games in the early 90s that sort of sparked this uh, national discussion about a video game rating system. Uh, Congress ha- held uh, sessions about this, and you know they were going to force a rating system on the video game industry if they didn't voluntarily come up with one on their own. And it was this game, Night Trap, uh, was one of the two main offenders. It was supposed to be this really violent uh, game, which was really like a, a kind of a hokey B movie. Essentially, a Night Trap was one of the uh, sort of infamous what's called full motion video games. Essentially, you were inter- interacting with a movie. And as you might imagine, it is relatively difficult to make a game around the idea of an interactive movie because there are only so many things that you can do with you know live video versus animation in a video game. Yeah, there was a 
a time mark in the late 90s where they were just beginning to be able to incorporate video into software applications. Right, and this was like so seen as the new thing for video games back then. Um, it turned out it didn't work out very well they were, in the long run, and most of the games were horrible. But Night Trap you know, has that uh, attraction of it being a kind of a piece of history. Uh, that it was one of the two games that spurned this whole discussion about video game ratings. I'm trying to so, think of this video game that I played in the arcades. Now, this one was a cartoon. You know, Dragon's Lair. Where it sounds like it's Dragon's Lair. It was, yeah. car it was a cartoon. Dragon's Lair. So very similar uh, in concept to uh, Dragon's Lair was, when it was run actually off of a laser disc. And that it had very high quality animation, like Don Bluth, I think, was the uh, the animator behind that. It was particular. neat, but it was just it was kind of catchy. Like you know, you go from you do something at a certain time. You it was to, very button press. You know, like you had to re react before something happened yeah. on screen, and it was very hard. Actually, that the game was very difficult, a real quarter cruncher. Night Trap, not quite the same. It wasn't designed for arcades, but sort of a similar idea where it's playing video tracks and you have to do certain things. In this case, trap vampires and save. Uh, young ladies from being trapped in a, this house, which is overrun by vampires. What did the young ladies look like? Um, teen, you know, sort of older teen, uh, young twenties uh, females ha having essentially a slumber party at this creepy vampire house thing, and it was all like this uh, v B movie quality, kind of really hokey and fun to uh, to watch. Well, anyway, the original creators of that game are back. Uh, they've got all the old footage that was shot in 35 millimeter in the 1980s uh, for an old defunct video game system, and they want to put it out in HD quality. And they're doing a Kickstarter uh, right. campaign for this. You can go to nighttraprevamped.com. They're looking to raise $300,000 in the next 21 days, and they're only at about 10% at this point. So whether it'll actually come back or not. Uh, still remains to be seen, but they are trying to bring this classic, horrible game uh, back to life. And nighttraprevamped.com is the site. There was a Wing Commander game that I loved. That With all the live video in it? That had With Mark Hamill, Mark Hamill and um, the guy who played Biff. We are out of time for tonight, but we can do more video game stuff on next Tuesday with Johnny Ray's Game of the Week. This week's Game of the Week, Age of Empires 2 HD from Johnny Ray. There's more coming up tomorrow night. We'll see you online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Are you? Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration of the Department of Health, Education, and welfare, and of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come you to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. A public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. If you want to move to the free state And you're looking for some real estate Well, I know a guy who's really great It's the realtor Mark Warden Do you want a home with 20 acres A lakeside cabin Any takers for renters Buyers and sellers too Mark Warden is the guy for you PorcupineRealEstate.com you can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, August 19th, 2014. 
Gold opened today at $1,299. Silver opened at $19.64. And Bitcoin is trading around $476.56. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online at rrbi.co or by phone 800-874-9760. In the news, on Monday, President Obama announced that Attorney General Eric Holder would be going to Ferguson, Missouri to work with local officials as violence between protesters and police has continued since the August 9th shooting of Michael Brown. In the early hours of Monday, Missouri Governor Jane Nixon called the National Guard to the community to restore peace and order. Governor Nixon also ended a curfew that had been in effect for several days. The family of Michael Brown has called for Officer Darren Wilson to be charged following the release of an independent autopsy that confirmed Brown had been shot by Wilson at least six times. A chemical found in Colgate Total toothpaste has been linked to cancer. The FDA knew about the chemical, triclosan, which is used to fight plaque and gingivitis, before approving the toothpaste, and they relied on Colgate's own scientific evaluations to approve use. Now, I caught up with Jessica Armand, creator of My Magic Mud, an all-natural alternative to toothpaste. She stated that she's not surprised that the FDA would approve such a harmful ingredient. Now, Jessica also said that FDA approval should caution consumers rather than put them at ease. An investigation by Bloomberg found the FDA was, in fact, aware of research linking the chemical to cancer in animals. Consumers are advised to begin removing all products that use triclosan from their household. Texans for Accountable Government is an Austin-based activist group working to advance the cause of liberty. TAG's message of humanizing, harmonizing, and localizing police activism resonates with Texans now more than ever. TAG's sixth anniversary party is Monday, August 25th at Sherlock's Pub and Grill on the corner of 183 and Burnett Road in North Austin. The party begins at 7 p.m. with complimentary appetizers, drinks, and live music. Awards for TAG's 2014 Activist of the Year and People's Champion will be presented. Proceeds will provide the resources needed to positively affect the upcoming Austin City Council election and Texas 84th Legislative Session, which begins in less than five months. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It. Live Sunday afternoons at 4 on 1370 AM in Austin. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, August 19th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Environmentalists attempting to fight a pipeline carrying tar sands crude oil were dealt a blow Monday when a federal district judge rejected their legal challenge. U.S. District Judge Katanji Brown Jackson stated that Flanagan South Pipeline could proceed without further environmental study. Upon completion, 